All right, what the heck? We're going live. I was just on my way back for the Pleiades, and look, look what, look what's happening. These damn Thargoid menaces. What are you doing? Oh my God! They're oh hi. There's like a bunch of you, eh? Look at that! It's like a Congo line. What's going on? What's going on? This is like the old Thargoid tactics. These are the these aren't the the new school of Thargoids. They're the old boys. They just want to scan me. Hello. Hello, loot. Look at these boys scanning me. Scary old Thargoids. Well, these ones aren't hostile. The the Pleiades Thargoids are now our friends, and like obviously like the Titans are not friendly and all that stuff. But hello, it's oh that was a Hydra too, wasn't it? That's a big old spiky looking boy. Remember Thargoids? <laughs> Hello, how's it going? It's Saturday. Welcome to the Dengus, and there they all go. Bye bye. That was a little hyper addiction. Okay. Get, get, get used the blood moving, you know. But I like the fact that, you know, if you go to the Pleiades, it's just like the old school Thargoids. Like, you know, it's like they still haven't changed. Those Thargoids are just uh, the same old cuddly old creatures we, we uh, are Four, well familiar three, with. Yo, let me get some music going. One, they made me start early. It's not my fault. Uh, let's do... Oh, yeah, let's kick it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. We doing Elite, baby. So last week, uh, it was super fun doing a friggin' uh, mystery, like the Elite Dangerous. Uh, I was, like, gunning... I was, like, considering doing another one this week, but I want to save it, because, like, you know, eventually I'm going to run out. And, uh, obviously, there's, uh, um cool opportunity here where really I, I took a peek in uh, Tyrannus's guts um, and I want to kind of go in there because apparently there's some new rare materials there might even be a community goal I'm not sure we're gonna have to check the computers uh, on the on the you know what um, but uh, computer ah! oh Jesus okay oh <laughs> all right okay that was scary scare you. scarier than the damn Thargoids I, I am <coughs> Heart is pumping, heart is pumping. in chat for like seven days and then suddenly go, oh, ah, ah. Well, that's, Yeah, you should do that one time. Just like, like show up in a stream in the last five minutes, just come to the mic and ah! <laughs> For a Halloween, do. Halloween stream, that'd yeah. be great, actually. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, so you, you ever wake up in the Pleiades and in an SRV and you're like, wait, what was I doing last week? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, yeah. And then you drive two feet and just suddenly mysteriously explode? Because that's what happened to me when I logged in. Really? <laughs> the that's RPG, I, don't, I don't know if I was at 0% haul and then just like smacked into a rock or if there was some glitch, but I literally log in. I'm like, oh, I'm in an SRV. Oh, like a crash Thargoid. Oh, I'll go to my ship. Boom. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. It's going to be one of those streams. <laughs> I cleverly jumped back at his last stream back to the front. Hold on. Let me, let me turn my. Easy you, you jump back to what? I, at the end of the last stream, I jumped back to the bubble at the end of the stream. So oh, yeah. I, I was. So I could log in, I could just get on with with stuff. Like this, this is like one of those things that I love about Elite and, and despise, where it's like I love the yeah. fact that like you log in and you're wherever you were. Yeah. Right. And yeah. It, it, it's cool because there's that like permanence or whatever. But sometimes you're like, oh no, not oh no. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like you oh. have to look. You know, I, you have to log out carefully and think about your next day. Like, right, I'll make sure I log out in right. a nice place. And yeah, exactly. Otherwise, you, you log in, you go, oh, no, I've got to jump back from there. Sometimes you log in, you this beautiful sunrise, and you're right where you want to be, and it's, everything's golden. Sometimes you wake up, you're at a Guardian site, you know, 500 light years out of the bubble, being like, oh, yeah, I was grinding. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's really dark, and you can't see anything. It's like, oh. Yeah. Okay, okay, I, I, maybe help, help me with this, because, like, okay, I keep seeing these, like, 100 screenshots videos. I haven't watched oh, any yeah. of them. Is this a trend yeah. that's going around? Like, what's up with this? Do you know about this? You know about the screenshot world. You're a screenshotist. I think it was an alternative one. Basically, just you know, a bit of music, and here's my last 100, or, no, 100 great screenshots. And, of course, Alec takes amazing ones. Oh, yeah. I think Reed did one. Um, and then, well, there's been a sort of people have been putting them up, so it's just been a little, a little trend, I think. But it's, it's really cool because you forget how good they are. Uh, right. uh, Orange Phoenix did a good one as well, yeah. Oh yeah, Orange Orange, yeah. Orange Phoenix is like the photographer. Yeah, man, that guy like, yeah, yeah. does some good stuff. So, yeah, okay. So yeah. are the rules like it just has to be the last 100, or is it just 100? Uh, I think it's 100 good, good ones. Yeah. Okay. The okay. idea is that they're kind of current, but yeah. But it's quite good fun, it man. I mean, let me, let me look and see how many screenshots I even have in my like screenshots folder. Let's see here. 
If I just highlight that and then go down here and do this, I have 1,487. Oh my god! No wonder I'm running out of hard drive space! Yeah, I know, I have to cull them all the time. They're right, just get rid of them. Like, the one, the best ones I like are usually online somewhere, but it's, I just have to right, just do you... you go, why is my hard drive so full? All right. It's just full of, yeah. What, okay, so are you going to do one? Because, like, you have some crazy good screenshots, too. Like, I've seen some amazing Feels photography. Good. Yeah, I know, I did. I'm not, I might do, yes. Yeah, I think it'll work. So it seems, it seems like an easy video project to pick. I was like, seeing that, I'm like, oh, that's easy. Just drag a, pick a hundred screenshots, which will take eight and a half days. Uh, <laughs> and then, and yeah. then just throw, flop them all on a timeline, put some put some yeah. cool music over it, and then you're good to go, right? But, but, yeah, totally. But not for this guy. This, I'll have to figure out something to screw it up. <laughs> People expect this from me, okay? They, <laughs> but yeah, it's like um, it's cool. Oh yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll do something like that. I'll I'll do something. I'll go through my screenshot, my fourteen hundred screenshots. Yeah. Because um, I know there's like some cool ones in there, some cool nebulas and exploration stuff. Some Lots of things. There's so many good memories in there as well. That's, that's right? a cool thing. Like the screenshots. It's like wow, yeah, there's places you've been and stuff you've seen. So my, my buddy was my, my buddy was over the other day, and I was actually like explaining to him the whole Dove Enigma expedition. Like I showed him a couple of clips from it, because he was like yeah. he was like, you know, like like he was like not comprehending the size of this galaxy, right? And I'm like just to, like and then, and then like I wanted to give him an example of like how crazy cool this community is, right? So I'm like the Dove yeah. Enigma is like I think a great story where it's like okay, like there's a guy he gets diagnosed with terminal cancer, things are are not looking good. And so the community mm. bands together, works with Frontier, gets a mega ship added to the game called the Dove Enigma, puts it in Colonia, and then organizes a big expedition to bring him there, like with waypoints along the way and like a huge laser show. We got him there. But then, do you remember the UA bombing? Yeah, yeah. Because this, yeah. this to me was like where the community like just like kicks ass, right? So obviously, <laughs> like obviously, a bunch of griefers or whatever are like, well. I had to explain to him what UA bombing is. I assume everyone out there knows, but if not, then, you know, there used to be a mechanic where if you brought the unknown artifacts, which are now Thargoid, not probes, but Thargoid sensors. Maybe sensors, yeah. And it's yeah. like, if you, oh, 2703, okay, 57 Thargoid. I know, so, yeah, it's like, wow. I mean, look, here, 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 I'm gonna beat you right now. Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong button. What's the screenshot button? There we go. <laughs> I, oh, 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 I think I broke it. <laughs> Oh god, I activated the episode. Okay, but but yeah, so UA bombing was a thing where like if you brought oh okay, okay, oh, it's still taking screenshots. What have I done? I pressed the button too many times. I've ruined it. <laughs> um but yeah, so like oh seven hungry dudes, what up, Ray Mob? Yeah. Um but yes. <laughs> um so like you could bring uh, the like if people brought enough UA bombs to a station, all the services would shut down, save for mega ships. So a bunch of douchebags are like, oh, guy who has cancer and everyone's trying to do something nice for him to fucking inspire him which he's still around by the way which is awesome um oh, he's hanging there it's great hell yeah uh, go dove enigma right but it's like over nine yeah. it's over nine thousand um <laughs> 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 but some some douche monkeys decided to take the time to friggin bring uas all the way out to colonia just to mess with this guy's ship and then yeah, yeah. and then the, the community organized a counter response and a bunch of brave commanders brought the cure which was meta alloys i think and fucking and yeah. fixed the shit before he got there and i'm like that is like again like people are willing to do like this like eight hour six hour journey or whatever i guess the neutron highway it's like what four hours to colonia which is constant yeah. jumping but i'm like that yeah. was that's like to me it's like no other game ever in the history of, of games will ever have like a community that's cool and like uh coordinated as elite yeah i know i'm i'm persistent that's the thing isn't it I say it's a, it's a big task to do and people will go right we'll dig down and just go and do it it's amazing oh yeah so, anything is possible in elites in mean, uh, oh, <laughs> oh, 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 I'm getting some frame rates I'm getting, oh okay auto dock you do the thing okay auto dock you do it you do it it's fine it's fine I'll just take my hands off the controls but yeah it's been um, it's been a crazy week and uh, I'm, oh did you guys hear that I got no. my little you, you don't you don't hear that to go to what I'm smashing the drums right now. Are you alright? Actually that hurt my ears <laughs> way too loud. <laughs> so, yeah, I still I keep meaning to like use this freaking stream deck more. Like all I have it right now is I can make a cat meow and I can make a I can make a clown honks. And yeah, I can yeah. make I'll, uh, I'll canned laughter. Um, but it's like you can use that for other things and 
I have yet to explore the amazing depths of this little doohickey. Get professional, you see. Yeah, you know, I'm trying to up the game here. We're 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 serious here, Dagus. This is the most serious uh, uh, channel and stream, as you know. Um, mm. <laughs> <anyway. laughs> All right, let's get let's cash in this explosion data. Sell it to my own carrier, double the profits, or no, I guess lose 12.5 percent or something. But oh, look at that, almost a million bucks. Not bad. Did you for a jump that to cut the... go to you then? I can't see. Does that, okay, so I think the way it works is like the, the Universal Carter Graphics takes a 25% tariff from the total data. So like if you sell a million dollars, it's going to take 250 and set it aside. And then it splits that 250, half of it going to the carrier. So 12.5% of that goes to your carrier balance. And the other 12.5% goes to Papa Braben's shadowy organization. <laughs> that I see in, why. It's like uh, Superman 3 is just embezzling the pennies and getting rich. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. The rounding errors or whatever. I know, drum solos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we're doing drum solos today. Oh, you, you, you probably can't hear it on your end because it's not popping no, through. I can just hear you hitting the table, which sounds good. Exactly. You're like, well, your rhythm's yeah. on there. Was that a 5-8 five, five, uh, time signature? I was yeah. like, okay, I don't, I, I'm trying to figure out, like, what the hell time signatures are all about. Like, 5-8 timing and six sevenths and i don't know it's like what can you do with this stuff i'm getting all i actually i bought a <laughs> so I, went, I went on amazon i had to buy a tuning pedal for my for my bass guitar and i bought yeah. a violin bow because why the fuck not i'm like i'm gonna do some yeah. jimmy <laughs> page shit right i'm like that'd be cool so then i go and i take it out and i start playing the little guitar and i'm like this isn't doing anything and it wasn't until a quick trip on the internet i'm like oh you have to coat some this shit in like rosin, rosin. yeah 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 i'm like oh okay so now do you play to... with your fingers or with a pick on your bass so like I, this is the this is the i always make this joke too if we do open mics where i'm just like are there any yeah. bases in the room i'm going to show you something here it's called a pick i know you i know you guys <laughs> hate this but i'm going to tell you right know. now it's it's happening <laughs> if, if you play with a bow of rosin it makes your strings really like dry so if you play your fingers it really kills your fingers ah. but if you play the plectrum it doesn't matter so pick so that's cool okay that's good to yeah. know yeah, 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 I don't, um, I've been trying to, like, get better at, like, playing with my fingers, but I usually do a pick, but, like, play more, like, punk and rock, so it works. But Yeah, yeah and I reckon, good. in a weird way, singing with a pick might be easier than the fingers. It's not it fingers, is. it makes it really hard to sing. That's, Your brain goes weird. It's the main, the main reason for me, but it's like, you know, I'm like, fucking Sting, <laughs> Sting can play and sing, Sting can play bass. Yeah, together. but he used to play just with his thumb, like a pick. Thing, you that's see, true. So. That's true. He, although yeah. he's he's gotten better, but he's also like you know, yeah, way more freaking experienced than I am. Um, he's got a couple of quid as well. I think so. Yeah, good old. I've been watching a lot of like uh, police stuff, and uh, Stuart Stuart Copeland is just such a hilarious dude. <laughs> like he's he an amazing. amazing drummer, yeah. but like his personality is amazing. <laughs> I know. Yeah, he just didn't stop. Like, he's like, ah. Yeah. And he just, yeah, he just wants to do it, and, yeah, and Sting was like, what's the plan of thing? Sting will turn around and be, and be like, you know, you know, like, oh, maybe play the hi-hat, and he'll be like, don't tell me how to do my goddamn drums, <laughs> yeah, 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 You write the songs and sing, I'll play the drums, and make it does. <laughs> it plays just the, just the best drums you can imagine, you know? Oh, yeah, it's amazing. But there was, like, some, some, there's, like, I got deep into, like, a police hole or whatever, so, and then I was mm. like, <clears throat> so, like, uh, at one point, like, Stuart Copeland went into Africa, and they put him in essentially like a shark cage but on land and he's playing drums and lions are trying to eat him and he's just like drumming at the lions <laughs> i'm like i'm like when when, yeah. did, when did the world get so boring like you know like in the, yeah, like the 70s yeah. and 80s like so much cool shit was going on and it's like we don't mm. we don't do crazy ass stupid shit anymore bring back the stupid crap uh well, again music could be quite challenging back then feels like music has to be really boring nowadays and it's like you could, you could, yeah, you could get away with writing really challenging music. That not, not every song was a hit. It doesn't matter. You know, the police are very good at writing amazing hits, but um, they've still made every song interesting. That's what I think. Yeah, we did. Yeah, they had like a different, the first different take. Twenty seconds. It's yeah, funny. Totally. It's funny because that's what Sting said. And like, I was watching like his interview with Beato or whatever. And, oh yeah. Um, and friggin', uh, he was basically like, he's like, to, to me, like music is all about surprise. And it's like, if it doesn't surprise me, I'm bored. So it's yeah, like well, like I think his... it's true for him, you know. He always puts a really odd chord, and you're like, wow, how did he get that in? So right? he obviously works, man. I mean, 
it's cool, man. But I'm like, I wish I had got the chance to see the police because they know they, they did a uh, reunion, know, or, reunion yeah. or whatever, like, um, yeah, 10 years ago or 2007 or something. And I'm like, damn, like, like, I don't think they'll yeah. ever get together again. But if they did, I'd be, uh, I'd be kick ass to go see that show. Yeah, it might be amazing, wouldn't it? Yeah, good stuff. Okay, so question, um, question, Computer? okay, <laughs> question. <laughs> <laughs> I should get I should get voice attack working again. And just yeah, have, man. Have, have freaking um, because you can have you yourself. Can, you can program can you put yourself into it. Uh, yeah, I could. You could, have, that, you could have double spatula with voice attack. Like yourself, I could have a I could like program I could like record voice lines and then like att yeah. attach them to certain keywords or whatever. That would be an interesting. Yeah. Stream concept. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, but okay. So here's my question: Is like you go into the titan guts okay yeah. and you're looking for the the rare things but some of them are like stuck in the in the rocks and i think i took this subsurface extraction missile and that was not doing anything and i think i need right abrasion blasters is that the thing i'm not i'm not sure because i wasn't sure i've only got the um subsurface i've got i've got one subsurface placement but that doesn't do it then so maybe let me see here because i know yeah. I'm like all my mining stuff is probably like something i ever kept abrasion blasts. i never use them so thing yeah, because I'm not really huge into that form of money. Okay, so I've got seismic charge launchers and shock mine launchers. No, those, neither of those are what I need. Hmm. Yeah, I've got sub. I've got the ones that get that got the people out, and I've got the. Yeah, that's what I've got in mine lasers. So I may need to find well, a place where we can buy mining gear. Where Where do you? How do you go about doing that? How do I not have any abrasion blasters? I guess I got so mad at them, I just deleted them all. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I think I've never ever used them. So in that moment where you just need more, you're trying to store your modules. You just just get rid of mining equipment first. Right. I think, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And, it's like, why do I have and six can't, abrasion I blasters? <laughs> delete, delete. Yeah, delete, and you delete. can't. Yeah. And you can't. Um, can you engineer them? I don't think you can. Can you? You can't engineer. I don't stuff. think there's a point to it. Like, I, I mean, maybe you could engineer them for higher yields or something. I don't know. I don't think you can. I'm it's not sure. Less sure. fun. I haven't been to an engineer in a very long time. Like I kind of like, like, like have like I, I mean like I may, I think I maybe went to an engineer once in the last like six or eight months for like one wow. engineering thing. That's pretty. I mean, yeah, I got you. I did did quite a bit with the old um, heat beams and stuff for the Thargoid things. But yeah, most things have got pinned now. So if you if you pick been over and pinned a good um, end recipe, then you don't have to go and see them, which is quite useful. Hold on, I'm getting. Some slow down. Where am here. I? I'm up near somewhere, aren't I? Okay, well, I'm up near. Just give me one second. What's here. happened? Have you broken? Um, it might be. I might need to close Adobe Premiere here. <laughs> <laughs> is it not like it? It's is it my, my, like literally like uh, uh, as I'm like switching windows trying to close things. It's loading like um, you know, like a like a pornographic image circa 1996, like one line at a time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one can wait that long anymore. anymore. Okay, I think I might have freed up enough RAM. Oh, where am I? Free the then? RAM. Um, I think I need to probably go on in Nara and find out where yeah, to buy place. things, right? So, so I'm, up, I'm up near Tyrannis, but I don't know if we should head to. Is Legong? I was, was going to go to Legong because Legong's newer. Yeah, yeah. And um, Tyrannis. You know, I guess either either or could work, but um, well, no, it's, it's new. It's fresh. It's fresh. It's maybe it's got new. Okay, hold on. Wait, wait. Abrasion blaster is what we need, right? Is that right? There's so I think many, it is. So many guns. Oh my god. Oh There's my so god. many guns. What are you gonna do with all these guns? Okay, so it's a one D, and I could get it. Where do I put my near star system? Okay, let's change that. What am I? Where am I? Django or Django? That's, yeah. Badang, badang. Badang. Okay, so there's one. Oh, there's one here. I just have to okay. go. Oh, at the station that I'm like next to. Wonderful. Okay, that's convenient. Was that in Inara you looked up? Or where? Where'd you look up in? Good old Inara. Yeah. Inara yeah, is like, like, it's like if that ever shuts down, like. Yeah. I'll, it's, I don't find anything. I don't know what I would do. Up. What would you do? Yeah. I know, yeah. Like the, start writing there, things down. There would have, yeah, because I remember what was the one that shut down? Was it EDDB.io or um, 
EDBDBD. Yeah, it was EDBDBD. And it was weird because, like, the developer or whatever was like, yeah, like, I have to shut it down and, like, due to some code or NDA secret dark wheel shit, I, I can't release the code. And therefore, right. like, you know, I'm not going to let someone else, like, take over and keep it running. It's like, bye bye. It's like, oh, bye bye. But, yeah, yeah. Oh. but then, but, yeah, then yeah. but then two seconds later, I'm like, well, as long as Inara is still around, then, then we're all I good. Know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But if an era went, I would be, uh, I'd be a little, uh, like, lost. I'd be a little lost. Yeah, um, I know. It would, would be a shame. What do you say? Uh, I, I like, Legion I like all the storage you get in as well. Go oh, oh, a Legon has a fresh smell of acid smell. Tyrannus is full of NPC pirates. What? Really? There's, oh, right. and in open, I suspect, griefers. There's pirates in, um, Tyrannus? That's kind of interesting. There are, yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. That's interesting. I remember there was like search and rescue ships that were just like uh, trying to put their cream their limpets all over me. It was like, off me. Yeah. Ooh. Uh -huh. I like this station type. Which one is that? I'm still I'm still in the past in the stream. So oh yeah, of course you are. It's all, uh, all this. You are it's all this. on a thirty second delay just in case you say anything uh, that needs to be. <laughs> you can swear. You can I can swear all that. I want, but you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh God, it's I just get bleeped out instantly. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so I watched. I, so the other night I rewatched um, a couple. Of, well, this is like this week I've watched like three movies. Last night it was the movie Everest, which was like oh, yeah. a terrible movie to watch before you go to bed because it's such a harrowing uh, tragedy. <laughs> <in the end. laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> a very realistic movie. It was decent. A good cast and everything, but it was like it was like oh man, I gotta wait. I gotta do a palate. I gotta watch like. Ten minutes of Yen Cat or something after that to like kind of yeah, yeah, shake off wipe your brain clean. Shake off yeah. the old um, uh, 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 darkness. The, the darkness. Yeah. The darkness. <laughs> Before I sleep. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, but then, okay. So then, the night before that, I watched Dark City, which I hadn't seen in like years, and that's I don't a no Dark City. It's yeah. it's so good. It's with um, it? Rufus Sewell, um, Kiefer Sutherland's in it, and then I think William Hurt. Um, and it's like uh, ne sort of like neo noir futuristic kind of thing, where like basically oh, yeah. like a guy wakes up and there's a dead hooker in his room, and he's lost his memory. Oh, and and uh, strangely enough, when the clock hits midnight, everyone in the city goes to sleep, and these weird tall people with hats come out, and he's like, oh, "What wow. the hell is going on?" So now he's yeah, like yeah. on the run. It is a great movie. It is like sci-fi at its its highest. Uh, Headiest, uh, most intelligent little uh, mode or whatever. I thought it was there was cool. some good stuff in that late nineties. I remember there was some good films that came out that like yeah, got yeah. lost because then they weren't like the super effects that we have nowadays. But there's they're good films. I mean, good stories and stuff. I can definitely I can important. definitely recommend um, uh, the Dark City. Um, but the mm. but the movie that I, and Jennifer Connelly. That's right, she is in that. Right. Uh, yeah. Right? It's yeah. like it's like an all-star cast and just like the writing and the direction and, and everything's like this gothic um, kind of it's like a gothic style city or whatever. It's like I just thought it was like like I'm like I remembered liking it. But like I think, you know, it's like sometimes you watch a movie later in life and you kind of get more out of it. And this one I was like, oh, man, this is such a good movie. Um, oh, wow. Cool. Yeah, of course. that again. But the, the, the first one that I'd watched was and this is like and it's like if you haven't seen this movie. Was it Chip Wrecked? Ch Chipmunks 2? Or was it all? The Super Rescue Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's like Sorry. Leprechaun 4 in space. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's, uh, it's, it, and, and this is like, this, like, I, again, it's one of those things where, like, it, on some days, it could be my number one favorite movie. Uh, it's probably uh. always going to be in my top five. I think it is, by all means, a perfect movie. Um, and just, like, I, I, I watched it. And then as the credits started to roll, my first thought was, I want to watch that again. Like, I could have just oh, yeah. put it right back on. Um, that's cool. Guess the movie. Guess the movie. It's not Death Race 2000, but that's a great movie. Yeah, I watched that of the week as well, Ray. That's great. I need to watch that. Then I, it then is, I, what's I get? I will give you, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you a clue. It's, it stars Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Ooh. I break a <laughs> <laughs> No, it's, uh, it's Ridley Scott directing. I don't know. It's on another planet. Oh, the Martian. Yeah. 
Yeah, Honestly, that was, I love that film. It's a really good one, isn't it? It yeah. it may be just like yeah. like one of my top. It's it, it's in my top five favorite movies. It is just yeah. so good. I just enjoy what it's so like realistic, lighthearted. The tension is great. Um, the science yeah, is yeah. there, and to have like a main character like because I've read the book too. I actually have it on my desk right now. I want to reread it. Um, but yeah. like having the main character be a scientist and basically like you know he's like uh, the, the one line I love where he's like he's like you know. Um, I'm gonna, you know, if I if I don't um, uh, start coming up with uh, um, uh, ways to eat, I'm gonna die of starvation. Um, uh, but of course, I have to figure out the water first because I'll die of water. And of course, if anything goes wrong, you know, the, the vacuum will come in and I'll, I'll suffocate to death. So I'm gonna have to science the <laughs> shit out of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, fuck yeah! I love The Martian. It's so good, and I highly recommend it. Like, even if you watched it, like, watch it again, and it just just holds up, dude. <laughs> Do you remember Howard the Duck? <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> it's that, that one's not in my top five, but um, I enjoyed the fact that the Marvel movies uh, had like Howard the Duck cameos. I thought that was kind of fun. I forgot that yeah. he was like part of the Marvel universe. Because what didn't George Lucas do that one? Wasn't that Did George, he? George, George, Howard the Duck was, yeah. was that not George Lucas involved in it or something Maybe. like that? Hold on. Howard the Duck. Uh, director William Hayek. Is he producer? Or not? Why do I, I why do I associate Howard the Duck with George Lucas? Maybe because they kind of look, look they look the same. It looks like him. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, <laughs> it just looks. Like him. <laughs> it must must have been him. It looked like him. Oh no, he produced yeah. it. He produced it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it was like he had something to do with that. Because it's one of those Anything things you can. One of those things sell, where it's like. Sell. Like, child toys he's into it isn't it? i think yeah well i don't know if howard the duck would be like a child toy thing no, it's yeah. kind of a kind of a dirty dog there but that's how science yeah. works well that's that's my thing it's <laughs> like it's like there's so much um okay my favorite scene in the martian is like when they're back and it's like going back on earth and like jeff bridges is the head of nasa or whatever you got donald glover and what kirsten wig and um what's the guy's name it's like Ch chibumbe Muwange, I don't know. He's a great actor, though. Um, and like, the, the, they're all like um, talking about this this operation. And he's like, we call it Operation Operation uh, Elrond. And, 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 and but Sean Bean is in it, right? This is the important oh, part. Is they go Operation Elrond, and then he's like, what the hell? And, and then Kristen Wiig's like, what the hell does that mean? And it's like, well, because this is like a, a secret council, and in Lord of the Rings, there's a secret council. She's like, what the hell? What the hell is up with you, with you nerds, right? And then. Jeff, uh, Jeff Daniels walks in and he's like, he's like, well, if this is uh, uh, Operation Elrond, then I want my code name to be Glorfindel. <laughs> right, yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there and just like, I'm like, oh my god, the writing in this movie. Like, I'm like, I like the the book is written by Andy Rear. I, I who did the screenplay? Was it like David Goyer or something like that? Hold on. No, it's, it's so good though. It's just like I said, so need, well weighted and yeah. and yeah, it's brilliant. I need to find out who and is then like praise them. I was watching that. Then Ad Astra came out with Brad Pitt in a sci-fi. I thought oh, that'd be good, and I, I think that's the worst I've ever seen. Uh, Ad Astra, it's, like I I I, it, I, how, I didn't like not I'll enjoy it. it. I didn't not I enjoy it. Pointless. It's, it's yeah, it was, yeah, it was it was just yeah. it was just kind of like um, a movie where a guy goes from place to place and it blows up behind yeah. him and it just happens yeah, yeah. to be in space, which is cool. Um, yeah, it could have just been on the holiday somewhere or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So sorry, sorry. Yeah, it was it was uh, Drew Goddard is the name of the guy who adapted the book and um, what what has he done? Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Angel Alias Lost. Uh, so he did some like some J.J. Abrams stuff. He wrote Cloverfield, World War Z, and The Martian. Um, and oh, he directed Cabin in the Woods. Okay, fuck, I love this guy. This guy's great. Yeah, well, that's like, cool. Man. Praise, yeah, yeah. praise be to him for writing a friggin' amazing adaptation of a great book. Because like, I would say like, if you've seen the movie The Martian, you liked it, read the book. Because the book is right. also amazing, and there are yeah, yeah. Um, some pieces of the movie that aren't in the book, and, and vice versa. Like the book, the book and movie complement each other, and you get kind of like, oh, uh, cool. Howard the Duck and nearly the nearly <laughs> happened interspecies sex part. Well, I'm assuming Howard the Duck is a result of interspecies sex because, like, that's the it's like you know. But like, the question is, like, did it did it, um, a lady mate with a duck, or did a duck mate with a lady? I don't know. Well, yeah. But was it, it, must it come, come from somewhere? He must have come out of an egg, mustn't he? I don't know. What the hell is this screen? I've never seen. Oh my god, I've never seen this screen before. Which, which script? What, what, like, what, what do you want? I clicked on vehicle extras <laughs> accidentally in the menu, and it's basically like the the store where you can buy skins. Oh yeah. 
but I've never oh, actually yeah. seen this in game. Oh, <laughs> like, I always go to the freaking website to buy stuff because I didn't know you could do it in game this way. Wow. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Did, this well, is they've got, interesting. They've updated that bit as well, they? Yeah, they've made it a bit more colorful. Should I buy something? I did buy a uh, um, third lance skin, but then didn't make my third lance into anything good. But yeah, they are cool, man. They are, I, I do like what they're doing. Oh, wow. This is a different uh, interface that I've never seen before. Yeah like, yeah, like like I really need more skins, but like there's always more skins to buy. Like there's so <laughs> there's always more skins. to buy. What's the detailing? Is that just like ship kits? No, it's uh, engine colors, cockpit voice assistants. They have any new stuff here? Okay, when are, when, when am I gonna be a cockpit voice assistant? Frontier, David Braben, call me. We'll do. We'll do. We'll, I'll come into the studio. I'll record all my lines, uh, and leave. Leave, uh, and you'll never hear from me again. I swear. You'll, yeah, finally, you'll finally be rid of me. Just put me in the game. Um, yeah, look at all this stuff I could buy. Brawler. Oh. Interesting. I've never actually... It's like one of those things where like, yeah, I've, I've never clicked on this. I always thought that was just like... It goes like, yeah, there are vehicle extras. There's a picture of a shopping bag. Spend some marks, right? If that was an ad. Okay, enough of this nonsense. Um, <laughs> okay, let me send you... Uh, oh, there's Dead Star. And where is Toko? So... Oh, call so. Uh You remember Ad Astra had great reviews, so the local sci San Francisco or SF sci fi nerd group uh, saw it at the cinema. You San Francisco yeah. sci fi, basically the same thing. Um, the only thing I remember of the movie is a complete disappointment. Like, I guess my expectations for it were like kind of low. I was just like, okay. Like, I think because Ad Astra also came out around the same time as Interstellar. Like, there was like The hmm. Martian, then Interstellar, then Ad Astra. And I think like if Ad Astra had released and then the martian interstellar like it would have probably been received better because like interstellar oh, so and yeah, not, oh, just, martian yeah, yeah. Are just like freaking like top tier yeah, yeah. some of the best space movies ever made um and mm. ad astra is just like a kind of like bog standard generic action whatever like yeah i, I did like well done, though, like, yeah. I, I love yeah. I, I loved actually the kind of like the stupid thing where it's like yeah he's like everything is blowing up behind them and you're thinking like okay no this is so contrived but and then the end i think the ending disappointed um i don't really remember that much about it other than like yeah brad pitt would go to a place and then he's like i gotta go to the next place and then the place would blow up and you get it at the nick of time and then yeah yeah, and yeah. that did like six times but you know we got to see some sci-fi stuff so i'm okay with that <laughs> oh shit did i get limpets no no I have, oh, I, okay, I have to redock i have to redock i don't have limpets do I need Bertrandite and Palladium? I've got no limpets either. I'll come for Bison. I always forget your limpets. Yeah. So, okay, so here's the other thing. Um, I didn't uh, catch the Frontier stream. I was like, I was talking about it, and then they put out like a little um, mini video. It was like 14 minutes or something on YouTube, Frontier. And I did not Already? watch all of it, but uh, I skimmed through yeah. it. Um, and it looks like yeah. they're talking about power play updates, but from what I understand is. Um, all this showed was a map. Like, did we find any, yeah. anything cool about power play that I maybe missed? Uh, it seems like that they're going to change the state of of stations when you go, and there'll be posters and stuff around. Um, and then oh, the only okay. interesting thing was that there'll be stronghold systems which will have uh, big fleet carriers with support ships around it, and you can do interesting things. But oh. what that means, okay. I don't know. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So. They, so it, Feels like it's all like I, I was really excited, and then I was like, they've kind of taken it down. But again, the main guy who did it was ill, so he couldn't, couldn't come and do it. So maybe they're holding off to it. He's there. <laughs> that's a, that's an yeah. excuse. <laughs> it's like every yeah, time yeah. every time we try to get the guy designing power play on the show, he just happens to be sick that week. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, cut to cut to like uh, there's like a brim wearing a wig and a chair. <laughs> it's, it's like yeah. power play department. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't mention it, any mechanics at all, which is a real shame because I think that's that's the well the, the interface is utterly terrible and the, um, oh, yeah. the mechanics are quite boring. Like so. I, I'm assume I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume that they're gonna change it so you don't have to like order quantities of like six uh, materials. I know if, the, if that doesn't change then yeah then, then yeah 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 you can yeah. buy nine at a time or uh -huh. you can pay extra. So like, what? Is that really what you did? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm... The only reason I'm... Like, it's like, let me put it this way. Like, power play, you could literally um, just 
mash the keyboard in the middle of the code and it would probably improve it. Um, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, I'm not, I'm not worried about them. It's like, no matter what they do, it's going to be better than what we've got. It's just more like, will it actually be super cool and everyone be interested and want to do it? Or is it just going to be like, also similarly lame or underwhelming, whatever, right? I'm setting my yeah, bar yeah. low. Okay. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, as long as they're over game game loops for PB, then it's rubbish. Well, yeah, like, like obviously, like obviously, yeah, like yeah. They, they like you can still do these things. I think they've said some line like you know you can still do these things like trading or whatever, um, uh, which is like code for like going into a menu screen, putting packets in your system, going somewhere else. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, uh, Dead Star saying Legong is still caustic, but Tyrannus doesn't have a caustic cloud now. Oh, okay. Oh. So should we? Does that mean there's nothing? To well, let's. Do we want to just? Well, let's check it out because I'm. Let's just check it out. Yeah. I, I, I think like, uh, do I have decon limpets? Because wasn't it? Or no, no, I have repair limpets, and I think repair limpet. Or no, wait, I would want decon limpets, wouldn't I? Or caustic Versus... sinks. Yeah, if there's no caustic stuff there at all, then you should be fine. I got tons of caustic sinks. I'm just more like I think it was like the the repair limpets like outpace the caustic damage. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, you know what? Let's let's just try with the repair limpets. Let's do that. Maybe they'll fix the menu where you buy pamphlets. So dull to buy them fifty at a time. I mean, like that's the, <laughs> that, like, like that's the least they could do is put like a a max button or like put in like a slider and as like the slider goes, like the numbers of credits that you have to spend, you know, like taking the existing system and just making it not um, bullshit uh, would be would be like <laughs> would be like the, yeah. the, like the minimal the least. that they could do, yeah. right? But I think the hope is that because I think power play is a great opportunity for player um, interaction and like PvP. Right, and again, you got to be careful. Yeah. I know, I know, I've seen a lot of posts where it's like, if you talk about um, PvP in power play on like the forums, the mods will ban you because like and people are like really sensitive about talking about things. Like, apparently, crazy. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't know if yeah. there's any any forum mods out there. Um, you can't do shit for me. I'm the moderator around these parts. <laughs> uh, I know the old the old open only thing which, which, is, which would be a great thing but I don't think the game knows what Modron is it I don't think well so, like I, I mean like I, 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 I definitely am, am like uh, I play in open but like I don't begrudge people yeah. who don't and I think it's it's great to have those modes um, but I do believe that like if you are in um, a war game if you're in yeah. power play or BGS like your actions should either be weighted higher um, or, or if you're in solo you don't want to play with people. That's cool. You don't affect the BGS or you don't affect the power play. Like to me, that's how it should work because otherwise it's unfair and you could have like, you know, like 500, you, you could be like one guy in open defending a system and 500 other people in solo that he's never going to yeah. encounter. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Hello, Ray son, if we can spray, spray graffiti to undermine someone, that'd be great. Dude, be oh cool. my God. If you could get like graffiti tagging in Elite Dangerous, that would be so dope. Yeah. I would love that actually. Cause that would be that'd be a fun little side career or whatever. Oh. Okay, I'm heading to HIP eight 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 seven. HIP. Oh, did yeah. you get you get my wing invite? Yeah, I just got it now. Okay, where so, is this thing? Here it is. Legong. It's still called Titan. It should be called like X Titan. Yeah. <laughs> Very bizarre. The artist formerly known as Titan. <laughs> the artist formerly known as Legong. That's what they should change it. Yeah, the artist formerly known as is Tyrannus. But no, this game has no sense of humor. Um, <laughs> that's where I come in. Um, but yeah, I, I love uh, like because I remember they added like some cool degree. But I hope Power Play is, isn't also just like yeah, like I hope they're just like trying to be underwhelming in the sense of not being like yeah, we're gonna tell you all the cool stuff like graffiti, cool um, station decoration, cool. Like hey, yeah, if it's like um, the Imperials take it over, there's like Imperial um, like uh, what do you call them like. I was gonna say stormtroopers, but you know, um, yeah, God, whatever, the, whatever the yeah. case may be, yeah. And it's like federal, and then you get like you know corporate guys trying to sell you stuff. And if it's alliance, it's you know maybe just I don't know what what would you say the alliance guys would do? <laughs> the traders, just, right? Uh, yeah, traders. That was, yeah, a little biz a little so, bizarre. I mean, I, I I still would love to see more. Um, which which we call it like more. Um, uh, variety in, in, in the words, yeah, yeah. like like some procedural yeah. uh, differences. Like maybe instead of the lobby being like this place with a bunch of chairs, like it's oh this one's a little market stall because it's a commercial system. You know, just like change the you know just change the position into the benches. You know what I mean? Like I know. Let's say if they just remove that, but obviously, yeah. It's like, oh, come I'm, on. I'm, 
it's like it's like it, it was so cool to walk on the concourse the first time but now it's like oh okay so this bar is purple instead of green light yeah you, i can't even see different colors it's just like oh, it's, it feels the same but yeah that would be unfortunately that's the, that would be cool. yeah or not, whatever. It's all good. You don't have to. I, uh, you know, I'm hoping that this the stronghold thing will mean that you could attack someone else's area. I don't know. There'll be some some cool way of actually having a bit of a battle. Stronghold. Because that would be great. Stronghold. I mean, I mean, like, yeah, like uh, if yeah. if the stronghold is like, yeah, like basically like a system that like anyone who's involved in that power would would gravitate towards, then it creates like a place like community goals where the gangers yeah. will be. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, the, 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 wait, the mention, they mentioned vending machines about five times? What? What? It did, yeah. They but, kept what, sorry, about the, the, that you'd better get different things of vending machines when, I was like, what? Hey, well, like, sort of. Was that like. Ashling Duval drinks or what? I don't quite understand it. Yeah. Okay. It's like Felicia Winter's gum. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's a sleeping masks or something. Yeah, it's very strange. I mean, are there it, mm, vending machines? I think. I mean, like it's a small thing, but that would be kind of cool. That's something. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm gonna extrapolate that from like you, maybe some of them have food, and maybe that that we can get drinks at the bar. With with ox. Maybe. So but you heard it here first. <laughs> I'm speaking on behalf of Frontier. I've been officially authorized by David Braben himself to announce to you the new feature in Elite will be bartenders that actually sell you drinks. Um, expect that coming. Um, next week on patch day um <laughs> our, our, if arthur's watching right now he's god damn it <laughs> yeah, so, no, yeah. <laughs> just arthur yeah. in the chat we did not authorize this man but yeah. power, power play drinks i would love power that play drinks. yeah <laughs> it's like drink a little uh, can of isling duval this 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 yeah, this, yeah. this this can of water no, no slavery was used in the collection of this water and then it's like, uh, what's her name? Uh, the other living Guy Duval being like, uh, um, uh, slaves were beaten in the making of this water. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Oh no, they don't view <laughs> slaves. Slaves is just like, they're they're like they're like nice to their slaves in the Imperium, right? Like being it's a slave is like a, it's like a job. Up, yeah, really. it's just it's yeah. just like slave is just basically like a little more honesty well, around what the lower class is, right? We're all slaves to billionaires anyway. If you think about, oh, yeah, I'm living. Sorry, I jumped. <laughs> it's like when I. When I have this drum pad or whatever going, and then I like drop something on it, and it <laughs> shocks me. Uh, Grom grinder, Grom grinder, Grom grinder. The Grom grinder. Is that grape? Is that grape flavor? Grom grinder grape, grape soda. <laughs> uh, unless they mean the one. It, uh, why is my brain not working? Unless, the ship's unless they mean the one. It, it, the ship's captain's lounge. It must be doing ship interiors. Ooh. Oh no, they're not. <laughs> I mean, more carrier interiors. I want to be able, like, I think we should have, because um, like, if we're getting into base building or whatever, like again, and and like we see the fleet carriers have like modules and stuff. Just let me, just mm. give me more module slots and let me do stupid shit. Like I want a hot tub and I want, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, come you know, on. I want a tennis it's court fun. and um, <laughs> yeah. or like whatever space tennis would be, right? But whatever the space equivalent. It's a Tron Tron style tennis, I think. It would be yeah. It'd be like the thing on Star, Star Trek Voyager or whatever, where they're playing, or in TNG or whatever, that where they're the mm. the thing and then shooting the little drone. Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, there was another thing in the last couple of weeks. I, I I didn't watch all of Voyager, but I did um, look up like what are the fifteen best Voyager episodes kind of article thing, and I went oh, through really? and, wow. and, and watched like maybe like eighteen episodes of Voyager. And oh, amazing, man. I'll be honest, like I didn't, I wasn't like super into that show when it when it started. Um, yeah, but um, in kind of retrospect and, and, and watching it now, I'm like, it's not bad. It's got its moments. Like, definitely the good yeah. episodes were good. Um, Janeway is an underrated captain. She's just like a freaking badass. She gets some real cool moments. Yeah, I did really like that series. I thought it was that there was some interesting bits going on something, which I kind of liked. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I I I, I enjoyed uh, what I saw. I mean, obviously not. Ooh, oh, there's lasers up ahead. Um, obviously, like, like you know, I think there were a lot of filler episodes, which is the problem with it, but... Yeah. At the end of the day... This is a bit of fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to throw my collector limpet Programming out here. Limpet so, we are heading into the Caustic successful. Cloud. It is caustic. So, we'll, caustic, we'll, we'll, okay. see what, we'll see how long we last here, and then, um, ultimately, we can... Um, 
uh, go to uh, what's his name? I was going to say Gojira, but no. What's the what's the what's the other Titan? Tyrannus. Tyrannus. Yeah. How could I forget? My buddy Tyrannus. So we are burning through some of the caustic sinks, but that's that's okay. All right, I can see the goop, goopy bits. Yeah, because Tyrannus isn't at all. I remember I was in there the other day. So Tyrannus isn't caustic, but the the bits are still there. So yeah, I, I think I so. Like, I got a few bits. There's still thyroids there as well. Oh, really? Well, there were. Yeah. Oh, I, so, I think the glaives are, are going around. You only need to get... Okay, so did you get the drive components for the CG? You only need one or two. No, that's that's what we're hoping to do today is find those... I got some... Is it membranes? I don't know if that's the right stuff or not. I, well, I, got, I got some drive components. Mm, I was confused what to get. Hard. I don't know. Apparently there's like some material drive components or something that are like super rare. So that's kind right. of what we're hoping to find today, is find find our, cool. sell some good old drive components. Caustic crystals. Oh yeah, those are just... Actually, those are probably good. Orthius tissue samples. Yeah, there's just like... It's like... It like spawns random stuff in here. Like meta alloys, different tissue samples. So like, if you're like a Thargoid pacifist and you don't want to like... You know, kill something, or if you just, you know, can't kill a Hydra because you're me. Um, and you don't have any <laughs> skill in that regard. Then, then you could just come here and find all the titan bits that you need right like if you just, oh organs yeah samples. yeah what's an organ sample Ooh, i want organs hold on let me get this caustic crystal because i think these are rare little bb's and you know what i don't want to ever grind again this is like the one grind to give me all this stuff they're very rare i had a few that i offered on discord but i got no takers and handed them in That's yeah cool. i mean i mean look it's like i'm not i uh, it's always nice uh, to get those things but i'm not like like if I don't get them, it's fine. We'll be okay. Until whatever Alan. whatever comes out, and they're like, "Oh yeah, like, oh yeah, you need like fifty of these to get <laughs> to get um, like you need fifty of these to engineer this cool new thing that they launched." No. Yeah. Dun, dun. Well, why is my caustic stick deactivated? Why you do this? Okay, I see organ samples. Can I abrasion blast with this? And more importantly. How do I use this abrasion blaster? Because I don't think I've ever really figured this shit out. Okay, it's a two. Oh, what was that? Frame shift anomaly. Yeah, you get still get them jumping in. That's okay. I'm 17% heat. They can't see me. They the heat is fine. I'm very, very, I'm very, very cold. Okay. Let's I'm see. very, very cold. <laughs> it's so cold. Okay, so this is definitely something I abrasion in a late. Okay, um, you charge it up. Oh, kind of does charge up. Uh, did that work? Organ sample. Did I just pick it up? Okay, so maybe I'm wrong about the abrasion blaster. Maybe this stuff is just... Or maybe that's... Maybe I did undo this. Oh, sorry, um... If you don't do the CG, you won't get the new FSD until it goes on sale on 331. Okay, then I'm definitely, mm. definitely gonna try to do this CG. That is true. It's like sometimes the um, uh, the CG stuff, like the, sometimes the rewards you never get again. Like there's, it's like pre-engineered uh, FSDs out there that people have, myself included. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no came, came from CGs or whatever. Ooh, organ samples. But these are like CGs. actual cargo. Oh. Yeah, so, so where are you getting these from? I, I so you, got, you basically, them, got you go up to the Titan bits or whatever, and then there's like little, uh, what do you call them? Oh, where's my collectors? Morning. There's like little, um, what do you call them? Um, do, do, uh, do hickeys. Do hickeys that you can shoot. And then right. when you shoot them, they drop the samples? Because reasons. But you need the, what's it called? I've only got the subsurface in the other one. Oh well, don't worry. I'll just go and have a hunt around so I'll find it. What's my collector doing? It's obviously not doing anything. Okay. Alright, I'll pick him up myself. Fine. There's meta alloys later on here. I am just a large lipid. Oh, there's like amazing loot here. This is like yeah. this is a great loot uh, area. Like I mean like Caustic I wonder crystals. what like Like obviously like materials are really what I'm after, but like I wonder um how much money can be made. Um, like, his meta alloys are sell for a pretty penny, right? Yeah. What do these organ samples sell for? You would think, like, Titan goopy guts would actually sell quite well. 
Yeah. Because, you know, like, who wants to go get this stuff? Taking damage. Okay, I, apparently I can't get close enough because the nose of my ship is smacking into a wall. <laughs> okay, we can do I found one. some corset crystals. But I don't know for. There's so much stuff you got, here. You got caustics, um, cargo racks as well. Protective membrane scrap. What the hell is that? Hmm. Let's go get that. Do I have caustic? I have caustic um, sinks. Because this is my like, um, this is like my mail maelstrom uh, penetrating orca. So it is. Ma it is maximized for maximum uh, resistance to the caustics. Collector limpet expired. Okay, where's this thing? Collector limpet expired. How dare you? Warning: caustic damage detected. Can we not? Oops. Okay, we don't need a target. Go, just... go, 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 gadget limpet. Protective membrane scrap. I don't think I've seen that either before. There's all sorts of new little goodies in here. Yeah, there's loads, aren't there? Uh, zero G chips. Uh, Grom grinder comes <laughs> in three flavors: PP, concrete, and extra zero. <laughs> what flavor is PP <laughs> exactly? <laughs> <laughs> So what are we looking for? It's like drive drive materials are what we're looking for, but potentially, like, I guess there could be, um, uh, they could be, like, hidden in the in the bits. Like, they might need to be abrasioned out. Yeah, I think, Oops. yeah. I might smack that. Oh, my God. Collector. Okay, collectors on the job. What's that blue thing? What blue is that? thing. Oh, it's a purple thing. Oh, wait. So the Thargoid vessel's over there. Oh, it's a Thargoid hunter. Okay, don't go that way. Yeah, don't go that way, yeah. So they, you do get some bad ones around. And you get the, um, not the glazer, the ones. The, the ones that come, the sides. That come and steal stuff and you picked up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Found the drive components from the outskirts of the debris rather than the... Oh, uh, right, stuff. okay. I, I wonder if it's just, like, randomized, but, like... Yeah, oh, yeah. Thargoid hearts... Oh my god, so look at all this stuff. Four. Looking for... Drive components. If you see drive components, drive get excited and okay. uh, scream and jump up and down. But not propulsion elements, drive components. I'm gonna decostify here. See, it's not so... The caustic isn't so bad here. It's like... like um, Yeah, it lasts a bit longer, isn't it? It's a little more well-balanced. So there's like some debris over here that looks... Interesting. I seem like How's the th abrasion stuff is all in the big bits, but I don't know. There's some rocks over here, so let's see what. There's still the bio storage capsules as well. I could always come and get some. Of them. Are those like people? Aren't yeah. Those, aren't those like the poor humans that have been? <laughs> I've just forgotten about. Well, oh, yeah. fine. It's like oh, we didn't, we didn't, um, we blew up the Titan, <laughs> and they survived. Hey, that's great. <laughs> yeah, they survived. As They'll be fine. Just to be planned. I was leave them floating in a corset crowd. <laughs> is everyone there? Hello. <laughs> There's a big explosion, and uh, it's been six weeks now. The commodity is not mats, so you die if you lose them. Oh yeah, very important to remember. Oh yeah, of course. Okay, so these rocks have nothing of interest. I'm gonna investigate this thing over here. This looks like um, look at eight, oh. uh, like a naysail. No, I'm not seeing anything there. Okay. All right, we'll kind of head back into the, back into the part of it. This is a cool environment, though. Again, it's just one of those things where um, the, yeah. the, you know, the environmental design of Elite is always pleasing. They always do a great job with that. Python partial tissue samples. I've not got any of those. There's like, there's like partial tissue samples and then Titan tissue samples. They all are cargo. Yeah, yeah. So well, I, do, okay. I do wonder, like, if they have... Um, is there like a, a greater use for oh you can actually move around these bits I'm wonderful let me just boop this over here look at that I like that it's interactive boop, 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 boop. I could actually like disguise myself <laughs> wear this like a hermit crab shell uh, bio storage caustic shards those are probably I have 81 so I'm okay I'm okay I'm okay thank you, you. I've had okay. it I've had enough Oh, I'll show you what I've had enough. Yeah. Dun dun. So yeah, there are Some sensors. Those sensors are the fun, fun little um, 
things that used to be the UAs. Oh yeah, yeah. I wish your caustic sinks would just actually go off like automatically. Caustic damage yeah. detected. Caustic substance neutralized. It's, it's almost far too relaxing doing this now. I know, right? I'm like, I feel very Ooh. safe and. Ooh, there was a high wake there of a commander. Someone was came that? in and saw us and was like, oh, gankers. <laughs> come on, come on, dude hat. Doug hat. Dud hat. Come on, dud hat. I think. Can't pronounce his name. Propulsion elements. Wait, is that what we're supposed to find? No, that's not it. No, I think you get those off um, scales. These propulsion yeah, elements. Yeah, it's like drive components or something. Yeah, that's what you said. Uh, do, 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 do. Resin. Hmm. And the old uh, limpets are really loud. I found. If you've got like, a repair limpet on you, it's so noisy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, limpets, uh, like, turn down the limpets. Where's the volume on this? Just for those, yeah, yeah. Um... Injected caustic sinks. Those are probably my little bits. Oh, someone's after me. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Got up in blade. Oh, it's a scout, so right. run away. Probably kill him. Trying to run into the belly of the beast. Pop a little repair limpet there. What the hell's a marauder? Oh, those are scouts. Yeah. I mean, I could just sit there and let, like, like, like a scout could just take shots at me for like an hour and probably <laughs> I'd be okay. I've got some guns as well. I think I could get rid of him. Make Remove it, the threat. This uh, <laughs> only a 15 out. If I can take, oh, take another one of these. Oh, it's so far away, though. Propulsion elements. So I guess these things really are quite rare. Yeah, they think yeah. Is there, like, uh, like, should we be creating a grid and, like, search patterns and stuff like that? or Because my strategy right now is just wander around and That's what I was hope just for something to happen. Up. <laughs> There's no directions in space, that's the hard thing, so you kind of like go, ah, uh, right? just, just drift, drift around a bit. In space, no one can tell you which is where, where to go. go. Oops, I think I Ooh. just <laughs> popped right into that. Good Oops. implosion noise then. Oops! Oopsie! I wonder too, like, does the, does, like, new, um, loot, like, like, does it generate here? Like, if you sit here and collect everything, like, will new loot just generate, or do you kind of have to refresh the instance? I don't know. Like, I'm yeah, curious yeah. to know. Probably. Where's that scout gone? I can't see him. There he is. Uh, wreckage components new. I'm gonna go right into the the heart of this bad boy. So what you have to you have to get two in order to qualify for the CG. I'm not sure how the CG works or where it even is, but. Um, I mean, like, I'd like to keep one for, for a memento, too. For my hoard. <laughs> you know, it's like carriers have turned us all into commodity hoarders at this point. Yeah, I think one, a Dead Star saying. I think as long as you get onto the, um, Just one? what's it called? As long as you get onto the CG, then you'll probably get it. Just be on the board, yeah. Mm, but they, yeah, they only, want, they only want the drive stuff. They don't want anything else. Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah, I got protective membrane scraps to that. Well, the, 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 those, those obviously work super well for this guy. You know, the protective membranes did a wonderful job. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. He'll be fine. Uh, let me do a caustic, caustic sink. Okay, there's some abrasion -y stuff here I can do. Assist pearl. Ew. Ew, what the hell is that? Cyst Pearl. Oh, is he attacking me? Stupid scout, whatever. That's gross! Ew! Looks like eggs. Alright, let's shoot it. <laughs> what is it? Drop Cyst Specimen? Alright. I've never <laughs> seen that before. Well, no, that's, that's pretty nasty. Go, go, Collector Limpet. So what have we got so far? We've got Protective Membrane Scrap, three organ samples... <laughs> And a shit ton of limpets. <laughs> yeah. Okay, hold on. Can I turn off a module and get colder? 
Turn off my field scoop. I probably don't need that. That's right. There we go. Now the scout doesn't know what to do. Too cool for school. Okay, there's another system. Too cool for school. Uh, extraction missile? Nope, that's the wrong one. Argoid hearts. Is that from a, someone killing something? More cis specimens. Like, what is this? Uh, you're in top 10, you're in top 10% with seven? Oh my God. That's crazy, isn't it? Because I mean, it's one of those things where like people will, um, people will come in and do like, oh yeah, I'll check something out. But when it comes to like actually doing work, um, most people are gonna be like, eh. <laughs> myself. Yeah. There's been, oh, there's a big, big thargoid down there. I'm going to him. Intercept the. A biggie, a biggie boy. A biggie boy. Oh, yeah, okay, I see him. He's just sitting there. Yeah. He's chill, he's chill. He's probably lamenting the loss of the Titan. It's like, where did my mommy go? Have you seen my mommy? <laughs> my lava have gone. <laughs> okay, so there is something around oh. here. What does it say? Hold on, where'd it go? Bone structure fragment. Okay. So what is that? That's a good question. And second question is, what happens when I shoot it? <laughs> oh, I can scan. Forgot about the P wave. Oh. Okay, so oh, yeah, that drops bone fragments. Okay, of course. Bone structure, bone fragments. Oh my god, are we gonna build a Thargoid ship? Our bones and membranes and things that build. I mean, I want, I want, just, this is like a third grade buffet, I want a little bit of everything. Yeah, well, that's amazing, isn't it? Some of it I'll just, you know, put on my ship and hoard it, because that's what we do. That's what you do, yeah. Got everything to save the entire human species, but it's all mine. Uh, I don't want to limit it. Yeah, let me get a repair limpet on me. Where's my collector at? Who's that? I love the little repair sounds that the repair uh, limpets actually make. Yeah. Have you seen my collector limpet? Hello. <laughs> what a pretty place, actually. It looks like barf, though. It look kind of like visually, it looks like barf. Yeah. I mean, that's the appropriate thing for it to look like, because it's that thargoid. Not that caustic stuff, but yeah, it's pretty um. But it's cool. It's cool how it stays here forever. I mean, in a way. So it'd be good to have just this remnants of stuff. Warning. Oh, yeah. uh, damage detected. Okay. Taking damage. Put this bone fragment into my cargo, please. Oh no, seriously? Oh, I can't get close enough. Oh. Wait, right, maybe if I come in like sideways. I can hear a thugoid honking away. Okay, maybe I can get it this way. Just push it away from the thing. Et voila! Okay, we got a bone fragment. <laughs> Et voila, superb. Et voila. Ooh, think of a okay, missile. I don't need any of this other stuff. It is kind of crazy how the stuff jumps around if you're moving even just oh, like slightly. No. It's all based on like a Thargon drone. What the hell is a Thargon drone? Oh, oh, it swarms. Oops. Yeah, okay. Well, mm. Are you okay? Yeah, I just got crept on by, up on by some a big guy. Hey, come on, do do tat. Okay, there's nothing really else here. All right, so maybe the good stuff isn't in the in the center, so we'll kind of go a little bit out. Let's decostify. There we go. Another repair limpet, because we got plenty of limpets here. Caustic substance neutralized. And so I guess you got to keep your eye on this thing, because there's there's just so much stuff that it's like we could have seen like three of them and it's just lost in the the big old list, right? Yeah, I know it's a crazy amount of stuff, isn't it? And what's with I all haven't these seen anything yet. Caustic stuff. Uh, do, 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 do. Where's the bio? 
Oh, they're miles yeah. away. Uh huh, uh huh. resin. Heightened partial tissue sample. DIY Thargoid ship body kit. Oh, the Doctor Who episode of the kids. Are you my mommy? Yeah, with the gas mask kids. That was uh, oh, a. Yeah. <laughs> that was in like the first season with um, uh, Christopher Eccleston. Oh, yeah, one yeah. of my favorite episodes, though. It's so crazy. And then, and then, like David Tennant referenced it or whatever at some point or another. I love when shows do callbacks. Yeah. yeah I'm like I. I heard something that's like, oh yeah, the new Doctor Who, they're starting at season one again. It's like a pure oh. reboot, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> please, please, let me be no longer interested in this show. <laughs> 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 it's like, I, lo I, I, love, I love I love, the Doctor Who shows, but it's like, what are they doing? Why do they, well, you don't need to reboot it. Yeah. I mean, it's a time travel show, so just have, you know, maybe he goes back in time and intercepts himself. And, you know, yeah, yeah. Make it part of, you don't have to like change the command. Uh, oh, Commander Doug Dad, he's saying hi. Let's okay. say oh seven. We got another commander in here, and he and he said yeah, hi, yeah. so he's not a ganker, Cause, yeah. unless, unless he's a very clever ganker. Because the gankers Same. usually they just come in and kill you. Yeah, put a couple of dollar signs and stuff, and in about three seconds you're dead. Disney's Doctor Who? What? Huh? Wait, what? Is it? Is it gone Disney? Oh my is god. Is it Disney? That'd be terrible. The, the great thing about Doctor Who is it's really cheap and you can it's like you have to get the ideas across with not much money, so uh that's the cool thing. Oh yeah, I was like when they they did like the, there was like three um David Tennant came back for like three new episodes or whatever. Oh yeah. Yeah. And I was like really excited and like, you know, it's great to see him again in that role. And they, they brought back Catherine Tate, which was like a super treat because like my favorite era of Doctor Who is that one season with like uh, the Doctor and Donna. Like that, that they just had such great chemistry, like the comedic uh, chemistry. Was yeah, great. yeah, yeah. And so I was like, oh, this is great. And then like the first episode was like, yeah, it's okay. And then the second episode the the special effects budget like you get is just like such a bad green screen Morning. yeah I'm like, yeah, yeah i'm yeah. like the, like what you, you ran out of money so i guess we're getting this eh? Uh, no my fr my mate used to do uh cgi for them and he says that they have a budget for the whole se series and then he'll kind of do go okay that shot that's that much they go oh okay we'll just have that everything else is going to be really dodgy green yeah. screen then because yeah. they blow all the budget on like one bit where they're running towards camera with an yeah. amazing thing in the background it's like we got one really good episode and then we, yeah, no, yeah. we got no money uh, what do we do right i'm gonna have to head out of here to i'm running out of course yeah of i'm also not seeing anything that we're I'm not seeing anything no nah. I guess we could go to the Tyrannus one. It's not far, and there would be no yeah. caustic. Yeah, yeah. Which means, like, wait, wait. If I don't need caustic, like, I could go in any ship, really. Eh? Yeah, totally. As long as you've got collect limpets, really, and uh, and the abrasions, whatever it's called. Did it abrasion blaster? blaster. Yeah. Blaster. Did, did that? Yeah, did that might that that might bring out interesting things. I like I like the bone fragments. I'm I'm down with the like. Bring on the. You got organ samples, bone fragments, cysts. It's like a medical nightmare, but. Yeah. <laughs> Disney. Uh, oh my god. Bio storage caps. I might as well take this on the way out. Oh! Okay, sorry, whoever was in that pod. I blew them up. <laughs> they survived the whole thing and then that. Uh, yeah. Oh, I, can, I can hear a ship coming and boom, so I just bump into them. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> Trying to say maybe as we're coming out of the cloud, maybe there'll be something. I've been using abrasion blast. Okay, right. Mark's I'm gonna get abrasions and clever game. It looked too Marvel-like. Well, it's yeah. I mean, like to me, it's like you know, it's a show about time travel, and so like you know, like okay, it doesn't have to have a high budget if it's like got a really cool story right or if it's like you know again you can do like period pieces or whatever and like i always enjoy the doctor who episodes that go into the far future like those ones are more my my cup of tea where it's like you know they end up in some spaceship in the year 3000 kind of thing uh oh who's scanning me oh god okay i'm running i'm running because i think it's gonna be a glaive it's gonna be a glaive isn't it 
Okay, get that cargo hatch up. Time to go! Time to go, time to go. Where's my caustics? Okay, caustic sink. We are running away. We are running away before we get glaved. Thargoid pimples. Maybe titans are Thargoid teenagers. Oh my god, can you imagine? It's like, yeah, those titans, those were the babies. Yeah. Yes. Those were baby titans. Mama's coming. And we get a, a, ultra, a mega titan, and then an ultra mega titan. Just, just yeah, just get things that just kill you so fast. It's just impossible. It'd be quite fun. Like I'm gonna head back to Django hour. and drop the stuff off on the Django bus, and then I guess we'll go to try to train us. The man is yes, I'm get eight jobs. Yeah, just... <laughs> yeah how do you go? Oh, sorry. Wake up. Dun -dun. Wake up. Wake up. Drop. Wake up for your life. Yeah, I can get rid of that, this um, that mystery so. did last week. It's great. I thought. Love those mysteries. Oh yeah, love it, love it, love it. I, I can't wait to do more. Yeah, the story's getting set. It could be janky. Look at Red Dwarf. Great example. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, yeah, it's like uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail is like a low-budget production. That's like okay, yeah. we can't afford horses. Well, we'll just get coconuts, and, <laughs> yeah. then, and then it yeah. becomes yeah. legendary, right? Like, sometimes yeah, yeah. like the low-budget uh, constraints can actually like be a benefit, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. I think music especially really does well with, with budget restraints and, and stuff. Uh, Less tracks, the better. Versus the Titans, now it's the Loosens. Uh, I've been using the Abrasion Blaster, got some interesting samples. Um, the Galaxy is a Titan! Oh yeah, can you imagine that we found out the Milky Way is just one big giant Thargoid Titan. And we are but its uh, bits and pieces. <laughs> we actually, turns out humanity is an infection in a giant galactic sized Thargoid. We are the virus. We are the virus. Okay, I should be able to get back to the Dango bus before the caustic damage eats my hull. Oh man. Like, like, this is more relaxing than like most of the Thargoid stuff. Like I feel pretty safe in the clouds. Like it's kinda just like neat. It's like pleasant. Which is kind of a nice release after like the months and months of uh Jumping into maelstroms, which were like the deadliest freaking yeah, environment. Yeah, yeah. Like, I remember when the maelstroms, like, went back when you couldn't get in the Titan and it was just like getting into the maelstrom and you didn't have caustic sinks and it was like you had to yeah. grind to get the caustic shards, but you know, yeah. you either overheat yourself or whatever. It's like. Yeah, you had to fly and go like silent running to get close enough to take the tissue samples, but you were getting caustic and it was just like. Right. Yeah, I mean, I actually did quite enjoy it in a weird way because it was really hard and I kind of yeah. liked the thing but if you weren't in the mood for it it was horrible it was yeah it was like a nice like um like again a nice challenge for us yeah end game yeah. end game folk you know <clears throat> where everything is just you know not a challenge anymore uh, i was playing was um, so pacific drive then you play pacific drive? oh i keep meaning to get into that i i've been told by several yeah. people that like you would really like this it's good fun, man. It's cool, yeah. but it's it's that sort of thing you have, to, you have to go into a zone and it's like really dangerous. But you can kind of go around avoiding things. And I was like, they, I like that. That could be an elite more. We've got right. these six degrees of movements, so we could be doing that in space oh, yeah. in, in a great way, avoiding certain things. It'd be cool, cool if it was like there's a mission where you got to go get something, but it's like in some old minefield with like mines that are like from a yeah, war, yeah, or three hundred. But there's a ago. way through. We yeah. have to, yeah. That'd be cool. It's like they're magnetic, and if you get too close, they like come and suck to your hull or something. Yeah, yeah, I'm brilliant. Yeah, or just like. It's like, oh yeah, kind of like, puzzle. like um, some guy sends a distress beacon, he's like, all my limbits have gone crazy, and yeah. they're attacking everyone that comes near, and they act in like a smart Thargoid swarm. Like, I don't know, just cool. Oh, Pacific scenario. Driver, yeah, sorry, it's Ray, Ray. Pacific it's Driver, is that what it's called? Pacific Drive yeah. or Driver? I don't know. I think it's Drive. I think it's, I think drive. it's drive. Pacific Drive. It's Drive, yeah. yeah. You just drive, you drive in a car on it a lot. So they just you are a driver. But it's like you're it's like driver, it's yeah. like you're in some exclusion zone in Oregon or something, and um, from what I understand, it's yeah. like what like you, you go out and make runs or whatever, and then you eventually end up back where you are, and then that allows you to build shit that lets you get deeper into it, kind of thing. Yeah, it's one of those games where they don't the start just kind of happens. You don't really know what's going on, and then it's just like it's very strange where you right. you drive off and go to these places, and out after time it collapses, and you have to get out before the reality collapses, and then you go back to the garage, which is like a different reality and you don't really know what's going on so right, right. i like it already it's brilliant that kind of reminds me a little of um uh the outer the outer outer worlds outer, uh, no outer, outer 
What's that one? It, no, because there's Outer Worlds, which was like the Obsidian game, but then there was another one. Outer Wilds. Uh, Outer Wilds. Outer Wilds. Oh, yeah, yeah. Have you ever played that one? No, I looked at the end, actually. I think you would like it, because like it, it is like kind of that thing where it's like you start off and you kind of just don't know what's going on. Like You're just basically like, yeah, um, some people went missing on nearby planets. Go find them. But then as you're playing it... Um, you know, you're walking through some ancient civilization on this weird planet, and you find these little plaques and start to learn a little bit about that culture, and blah, blah, blah. Cool. But, but each planet's, like, unique. Like, there's one... There's basically these two planets. Like, this is what I thought was the coolest thing. Because it's, like, yeah. it's a time loop, right? So right. every 16 minutes, the solar system explodes. And right. Then, and then you end up back on your starting place. So you make progress cool. in terms of knowledge, but, like, everything resets, Right. So the, yeah, yeah. the idea is that eventually when you know what you're supposed to do, you have to do all those things within that 16 minute loop and then you win the game, right? So it's like, you could if you knew what to do right off the bat, you could just win the game in the first, in the first <laughs> run, right? All the cheat, yeah, yeah. But it's That's, like... That but, sounds cool though. But it's like, yeah, so basically you got 16 minutes to basically explore your solar system, which means like, you can probably thoroughly explore one planet or half of one planet, or you could bounce around to two different planets or whatever, right? And basically, okay, so like this is the a, a really cool element is there's two planets and they kind of are opposites of each other. In the sense, they're, they're like rotating each other. And as the 16 minutes progresses, one is a desert planet. The other one is like a hollow moon. And the, the gravity uh, of the hollow moon pulls all the sand over. So basically there's a funnel between them of like sand. And all by the, by the end of the 16 minutes, the other one is a hollow planet. Like the, they swap. Right? Like, wow. So basically, if you want to explore the hollow moon, you have to do it early in the 16 minute run. You have to get down oh, there and wow, do the work. Amazing. And sand is constantly, cool. constantly like coming up. So like, Sands of time. So yeah, like, yeah, like, like if you're like eight minutes into the run, you, you can't access some of the, the most bottom places. And then, oh, wow, that sounds cool. And on the opposite side, if you want to explore the desert planet, you have to wait until the latter half when the sand is gone. Oh, wow. So like, that's just like two planets and then obviously there's there's like a gas giant all these different um uh cool little things and the visuals are fun it's super creative um i really i, re I really enjoy it i recommend it cool after i have to have a really big drink so i've forgotten what you've told me now and then i can buy it and, <laughs> and not know <laughs> well like clear my mind I've not, I've not told you anything that like would would spoil it right like it, it's yeah, um, yeah no it sounds really cool i just like, I just like that thing where you don't really know what's going on in games i, like, I think it's quite a cool mechanic thing in the, not in Elite, but I mean, again, in Elite, we had Thargoids appearing for like over six years, and it's just like, that's quite interesting as well. You don't really know what's going on. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I mean well, this is a, that, that's the wonderful thing about Elite, is that, like, yeah, if you, don't, if you don't know the plot stuff at this point, um, man, there's so much you can discover. The only problem is, like, the odds of discovering it without knowing a little <laughs> bit about it. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Low, right? Yeah, you could fly around going, what's going on? Right? Yeah. Well, I mean, like, that that's valid. You could just fly around the bubble, and you're going to find little lore beacons and stuff like that. Some of them will lead to breadcrumbs. But, yeah, it's like, yeah. it's kind of one of those things where, like, if you know uh, uh, about Guardian Ruins, it's a lot easier to find them. And, and you know, if you don't know yeah. about them, like, how do you discover them? Yeah, you would have thought they would have put, put a bit of that in game. I think it's kind of, you can do these kind of runs and, and passenger missions that are lore missions and that in a way, because that would be quite a cool thing for new players, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, the, the passenger yeah. missions actually do... Uh, okay, so I'm heading to uh, Tyrannus now. So, like, cool, the, pas yeah. the passenger missions are actually kind of cool because they do... Um, there are the types where it's, like, the, the uh, explorer wants to visit this place, and they will often lead to um, systems. Like, I think what Frontier did was, like, they had a forum thread, and they're, like, yeah. basically, like, post the coolest locations that you know of, and we'll put a beacon there. And then, yeah. and then they based it around the passenger missions. So those are, like the things that the passenger missions can pick. And so often the passenger missions will go to interesting black holes or um, planetary nebulas, etc., etc. et, cetera, et cetera. Um, And that's a great, like, in-game way to, like, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, you can discover all these cool locations just by doing these types of missions. And it syncs well with yeah, the generation. Yeah. The problem... Unless you're trying to find um, all the volcanic stuff that all moved, isn't it? So there's, there's beacons on planets with nothing there. Yeah. Which is really annoying. Unless, oh, no. unless, unless the only problem with yeah. the passenger missions is sometimes you get a cranky ass passenger that oh, yeah, wants, yeah, yeah, yeah. wants to complain and let me off, let me off. It's like, dude, we're 500 light years away from the bubble. What do you want? Escape pod ejected. Yeah. Okay, this is why we find <laughs> this is why we find escape pods on random planets, right? They're just, they're just yeah. passengers that were just too high maintenance. 
Um, odd silence around Witcherly. Did we bork the storyline after had in mind, or will he come back tinfoil? I think, um, I think he will come back. And I think it'll tie into Guardian stuff. And I think that that will happen in six and a half years. <laughs> because, <laughs> because they got a long list of things to do. But, yeah. like, I do think, I, th I think, I think, um, you have a beacon in game. Yeah. What? Where's, yeah, right, beacon, really? Right? Where? Where's it at? We can go visit it. Yeah. We'll go visit Ray's beacon. We'll, we'll put graffiti on it. Yeah. Put some pee pee on it. Let's <laughs> <laughs> put some pee pee power play soda on <laughs> What did you get a beacon Wait, for? I'm very interested. Is that one of the, the tourist ones for, for a good, good sight, something? For a good time. Visit uh, the ice geysers of Mobulo Town. I do, I do want, like, you know, it would be nice to get something in the game named after me. You know, not that I'm, like, ascribing myself to super self-importance, but, you know, I'm kind of a big deal. Um, <laughs> but, you know, just all I ask for is a little thing, like, an entire system or planet or just name the galaxy after me. Like the, yeah, the Milky yeah. Way has been officially renamed Spatula the, City. There's eight spiral arms, aren't there? So they could have one of them. There you go. That's, that's, that's not, you're not asking for much yeah. then, really. The outer spatularic arm. <laughs> NGC7822, where is that? The outer spatula rim would be quite scary, I think. <laughs> <laughs> spatula Valley, I think, would be a good one. Yeah. Or just name uh, na na uh, name the voids after me. Name, yeah. name, name a, a void where there's nothing. That's all I want. Just a patch of nothing. <laughs> Is that too much to ask for? Nothing. N <laughs> NGC seven eight two two. Let's see where that is. Is that that sounds out of the like bubble? a? Is that a a, ne a, a planetary nebula? Oh, it's a nebula. Yeah. Oh sounds wow. Like okay. NGs. That's that's a little far. Actually, it's not that we're... far. Actually, that's yeah. That's like. That's like an afternoon exploration. Like that would be like, you could do well, you could nice, get, get, get there and back in one stream. Or no wait, hold on. wait a minute, wait a minute. No no no, hold on. Oh, bonus where's elephant the, trunk. Where's it's quite a, Where's Hellport? It's quite a long way this one. Yeah, it's good today. Where is Hellport? I've not been out there. I'm gonna have to bookmark that. Wait, why is it also not showing up on the galaxy map? Did they take Hellport yeah. out of the game? Yeah, well, I play it won't. It, won't, it just orbital. comes to a space with nothing there. Where's hell? What? Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hell port. Really dangerous. What's the system that it's in? Seagull sector. I'm like, you would think That's I would have this bookmark. Okay, Seagull sector is there. Okay, so that's there. And your nebula was like over there. Okay, so it's like, it's kind of like a little bit closer than Hellport, because you're over like here, right? Or no, this one. Oh, so why is it? Yeah. It's oh, all. So, yeah, so. I don't know. It's kind of like the same distance as Hellport. Okay, so Hellport, it took like three streams, but I was also doing a fleet carrier jump. So I think yeah, I could probably do it in a stream there and a stream back. You got a tourist mission to go to the own system that you tagged. That's kind of cool. That's all. That's all I want. Just I want to put me in the game frontier. <laughs> Come on, please. <laughs> Not asking for much. I mean. Well, I was, tell I was telling my friend about Plater Orbital, and I was like, yeah. I was like, man, like he got his, he got, he's the station voice. It's amazing. Like that was yeah, really yeah. cool. That was amazing. That was cool. Good old Plater. Yeah. It's, I think, like, Obsidian Orbital uh, in Maya has, like, Obsidian Ant's voice. I don't know if there's any other, um, like, uh, any other... It's a No, I think it's what I used to, isn't it? Yeah. Cupid's Arrow Tourist Base. Sounds romantic. Oh, cool. So, I guess there'll be no caustic here, but there will be potentially pirates, so we'll have to be on the lookout. Otherwise, they'll make off with our sweet, sweet loot. It's gonna drop stuff off at my carrier. I'm, just, I'm right near. Like two, jump, two jumps away here. I'm, I've been like avoiding jumping my carrier lately because of like the one hour <laughs> spool of time. But I think that's probably a, died down a little bit. Yeah, it was like 40, 
Yeah, it was, it was, it was crazy. Yeah. Uh, uh, the conspiracy theorist looking for Roxler tried to figure out if I know about Roxler by Beacons a Hint. <laughs> oh, wait, are you talking about that blue, is it blue, blue crush or something? Blue, blue crash? crash yeah. Blue crash? Like, yeah, yeah. that guy, I had like a, a, the weirdest email conversation with him. Like, he's actually freaking, it's a little hilarious. I but he's amazing though, isn't he? Yeah, he's so he, he, obsessed about this. Well, his, his theory was basically <laughs> that Raxla was hidden inside of a light bulb in in a hangar in a station. Wow! And That's like, cool, man. And I'm yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how, how are we going to get that? It turns out Raxla was just an energy efficient light bulb all along. Oh. But it's like, it's like, yeah, some people go deep. There was another guy, Matthias is a great channel. Matthias? I you think it's Matthias. Oh, yeah. It's Matthias. It's like you see, you people say alu aluminium. Aluminum. Oh, yeah. Aluminum. Aluminium. Aluminum. 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 Yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, but Matt Matthias is a great channel if you like um, really dangerous conspiracy channels. He's done some really kick ass uh, content in terms of that. Um, right. And he's also in my uh, the the moon episode. Can't oh, there. cool! But oh yeah, yeah. Awesome. I remember I, I was like I was asking if he wanted to do it, and then I'm like, okay, so like here's the script, and then it gets up to this <laughs> point, and then there's just a part of the script where it goes. Matthias explains why he thinks the moon is perfect locked, and so I'm like, you come up with whatever you want. Cause <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. Because I'm like, this guy comes up with amazing ideas. Well, right, right. Excellent. I rewatched that episode not too long ago, and I, cause I was like, I was like. You know, it's like you go back and look at old episodes, see if they hold up. I'm like, that one still holds up pretty well. It still holds up. Yeah. I enjoy it. <laughs> where's the where's the Titan debris field? Follow me to Tavares. When the carrier is just so I can't see things. La 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 la. La la. Oops, excuse me. Ah. Uh, uh, crap. A nice little microwave dinner or whatever for lunch right before streaming. So I usually get hungry at the end of the stream. So I'm like, why don't I try like eating right before the stream? Wow. But now I just yeah, I I'm really sleepy now. Uh, I'm yeah, not being very excited. I, I, get, I get tired and <laughs> um and my burps smell like broccoli. <laughs> so just be glad you're not in the cockpit with me. It would be uh, smelly in here. Yeah. Although the organ is quite a uh, spacious cockpit, you wouldn't have to be like right in there. I, I think too, like in my imagination, the orcas um, and a lot of the like you know the belugas and whatnot. I think that they have scented air. Um, yeah. Like I think I th it's like if you step into a beluga, it's gonna be like a nice sweet maybe or maybe some of them are like pine pine trees, mountain mountain air kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I, I think I think it's like they've got to have scented air. They look like they have scented air. Oh wow. Okay. So the Costa Cloud is like gone, gone. Oh wow. Oh wow. We get to see the like, Titan unbridled. Interesting. Programming Very interesting. Yeah, it's crazy. Okay. Corrosive. Okay, so let's let us loot. Let the looting commence. I'm just coming in. This is kind of neat to see everything. Yeah. It's it just like a lot of bits. A lot of bits. There's much easy, much better visibility on this actually. So we got a couple Type Nines here. Are these pirates? Are they rescue people? What are they doing here? Rescue vessels. Okay, of course. They're here. To, here so we're here to rescue the Titans. We are friends of the Thargoids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, buddy, you showed up a little bit too late. Thargoid organic search circuit, circuitry. Actually, I sh should get those. I don't have that many. Commander Phoenix Ascending is coming in as well. There's a Commander Phoenix Ascending? Oh. Yeah. I'm sure another name, actually. Oh, okay, collector, do your thing. Go, go, collector, limp it. And then, so not on, there's not on any cost left then, looks like a, no. a tiny bit. No. It's like, and it, it's like no cloud and everything, so it's kind of nice. It's a good holiday vacation area, it's a thing. Yeah, the weather is shine, the sun, sunny and shiny. <laughs> the beaches <laughs> yeah. are there. Oh, 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 Pram is scanning me. The scan will soon be over. Well, what? Are you a pirate? To a pirate? Does he want my limpets? There's nothing worth my while here. Yeah, there's a pirate. Yeah. Wait, in a Type <laughs> Seven? 
No, that was that was the rest of it. I was gonna say, okay, if it was a pirate in a type seven, I'd be honored. Let's see, is there anything I can blast here? With my abrasive abrasion. Also, like I saw Ghost Rap with the stream title or whatever, they're doing like NPC tractor beams. I'm like, okay, I gotta check this one out after. I know, yeah, it's like, what was that about? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what are they doing? <laughs> what are they doing this week? <laughs> <laughs> always, always amazing. Always, always. It's disemboweled. I think he comes up with all these crazy things, apparently. Oh, yeah. He's the beastly mad one. A, a regular old genius. Yeah. That found the edges of games. I'm very impressed. So okay, I got some organ bits here. I'll take I'll take at least one organ bit. Yeah, here we go. Kind of a no it's like they have a community goal for like a very rare material that I haven't seen once. Um, yeah, yeah. So one of those things where it's like sometimes I do wonder what are you what are you doing, Frontier? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. maybe you can only find them when the cost of cloud is up. No, that wouldn't make any sense. Because then, no. if, oh. you know, Legong in a week, you'd have no way to get them, right? Yeah. So it's just like, any time that, because uh, I remember, like, the, the other rare thing that used to be the big thing was the probes, right? And it was like, to find yeah, a friggin', yeah. to find a friggin' probe was like, you basically had to, you know, win the lottery, right? Yeah, it was so hard to find. You'd sit above an ammonia world in orbit for like, you know, three months waiting for that signal source. It pops in, you jump in, and it, it's like a stupid NPC that's run out of fuel, and you're like, Arr! Yeah, people would do that. They'd just, like you say, hang out over an ammonia world, just going round and round, yep. finding stuff. But, yeah. I remember it's like there was some video that I needed the probe for, and. Ooh, okay, look out for Danger Flower in the middle. Again, just like is that? Just sitting there. Oh, wow. Just sitting there. Really? I don't know. You could be dead. What's that loud sound? He might be dead, actually. There's a frame shift anomaly. Anomaly. So that could be scouts. I don't know why they're still coming. Could be scouts. Oh, crumbs after me now. Oh, I think he is dead. Because he's missing some bits. Either that or he's it's like a homeless star going, now these tight. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any change? change? Any spare arms? <laughs> Let's see, did that poke him? They're so rare, maybe they're being taken and open. Well, that could be it, right? It's like you come into um, an instance or whatever and it's like someone's just left kind of thing. Yeah. Like, looted the whole instance. I know it's like when, when when you go to like a rise mine or whatever, uh, when you're doing that whole material gathering for the on foot stuff, it's like yeah. if you do it in open and like other people are there, like it's basically pointless. And yeah, that, you just can't do it, can you? Because it's just it, yeah. And that's where again, it's like it's lovely that there are options like PG because then you can just pop over into a PG and it's like it is new. Yeah. Okay, I'm still not seeing anything, but. There seems to be a lot of debris over this way, so I'm gonna head head over to the the little bitty parts. It looks like um like uh, cocoa puffs, like breakfast cereal. <laughs> yeah. There's not much here at all, is there? I wonder if that's uh, yeah. Again, if we like just like jump to super cruise and jump out, will that refresh the um? The loot like you get a whole new might, might roll the loot again might it yeah yeah that's what i'm thinking hold on let me check the uh oh weird like my night vision isn't really like picking up this stuff is it even real <laughs> yeah no i'm like in it and i can't see it so it must be like huh. it's like fake stuff maybe yeah, yeah let's see here bio storage bio storage bio storage I don't need no bio Oh, okay. Expired. Collector, get back out there. Just should have brought more limpets, but at the same token, there's not really that much loot here, so it's... There's no, is there? Yeah. It's more about the quality than the quantity. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of loot out this way. Hold on, what's this blue stuff? Oh, that's Dead Star. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the blue thing?
Okay, cost of shard. I'll always go for those. Or actually, I don't need them. I don't need your caustics. <laughs> this place is strangely relaxing, isn't it? Drifting around here. It is. This is it. It's like it's like yeah. it, after like the whole frantic, you know, kill the titan. This is a nice like change of pace that just feels relaxing and looks cool. I always love just anything in a game that's like monolithic large, you know? Yeah. And so the Titans were, were cool, but even like a broken up Titan is like, it's it's almost like a little environment. Well, that'd be a cool CQC base. Remember CQC? Yeah, I love that thing, yeah. Advertise a, a Thargoid one. A Thargoid uh, Titan dead, or, that or, guy, or a Thargoid they? Titan Graveyard or whatever, that'd be cool. Yeah. He wait there, is that far going middle? Yeah. I've been chasing signals for over an hour. When are we going to shoot some insects? Dude. <laughs> you don't know, like, you're in a, in a dead titan. <laughs> we, we, yeah, yeah. We, we won. It's okay. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Take a moment. Enjoy the, enjoy the party. Oh, he's got a commander in the area. Welcome to the party, pal. I love that they say that. Because not only is it a diehard reference, but the fact that they're like, oh, it's a commander here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Like, that's right, that's right. There are NPCs and there are commanders. Yeah, they're, they're not there. Yeah. Yeah. But when we're not they chat themselves, we're not here about stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> they're just like, Quick, oh, there's an NPC, there's those a stupid, guy here. annoying commanders always taking all the loot. Yeah. <laughs> gonna pick up some meta alloys because why not it's here it's free and like meta alloys sell pretty decently right like what's their yeah, I think so. yeah 195 thousand is their galactic average 200k what's this but it's always good to have some meta alloys i don't know what for but Again, yeah. it's just hoarder mentality. Don't worry about me. <laughs> Anything I can get my grubby little hands on. Uh, deep tissue sample. Okay, I'll take that. It's from the deep, deep inside. Yeah, there's some scout here. Poor little scout. Oh, that's Thargoid. Is it a big boy? Yeah, there's a big boy here. Where, where, where? About five caliber, about four or five caliber, being fought by NPCs, I think. Okay, I kind of see some, something's going on over in your area. Yeah, that's quite cool. Let me get my camera near it that again. Look at the sun. It's just like through the little bit of yellow cloud, it looks really cool. Come on, camera, sweet work. All right, what else we got here? Let's see. No, we don't need any of this stuff. What is good here? What is good? Protective membrane scrap. I think I'll take a... Actually, I don't know. I want the meta alloys, man. Although I was thinking about, like, um, there was, like, that, that farming method where you kind of, like, go above the mega barnacle. <clears throat> and then you just basically uh, um, shoot flock at the ground, and then have like a bunch of limpets good to go, and then like oh yeah yeah they'll pick more up if they? it's low enough gravity like they'll actually um, uh, pop right back into your hull. Okay, go go limpet. Let's see what else we got here. Bio storage. Ooh. Yeah, I feel like maybe refreshing the instance could be useful. Wanna try it? Yeah. Yes, yeah, do it, yeah. Alright. See if Dead Start, you're right jumping out, or are you doing something really important? Where is he? He's drinking some power uh, plays over. Oh he's he's twenty. Roger, Roger. Thargoid carapace. Okay, I got forty two of them, I don't need it. Yeah. I did some like uh like the only time I played recently without streaming, I did some yeah. um uh, grinding for, for rocks or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like basically, I needed iron and nickel. Iron um, and nickel, yeah. And it was, um... 
it was a thing. <laughs> I don't. Did you get an SRV or not? Did you get in a yeah. Ship? Oh yeah, it's in, quite, in an SRV. It's quite hard in SRV sometimes. Some places it doesn't. Sometimes well, it's fine. I was on like a planet scare. where like it was very mountainous, very rocky. So it's like every five seconds I'm just getting, you know, jostled and turned around, and and so, you know, it's just it's just like one of those things where it's like I, I'd be driving for like a mile and there's no rocks, and then all of a sudden there's an outcrop. Okay, cool. And then drive for another mile. I got to the point where it's like I literally was like running out of fuel, <laughs> right? Which takes a while. <laughs> yeah. It takes a while yeah, in, yeah. in the Scarab to actually like like use up all your fuel. But yeah, uh, yeah, it was like okay, it's time to go now. And yeah, I went and did the thing. I got about thirty or, or forty. I'm being uh, inhibited here. I got like thirty or forty iron and nickel out of it. But then um, I did end up getting like some ni nice stuff like niobium and like all that kind of fun stuff. Yeah. So otherwise, you trade down, that you? you? Go down, down to iron, because you'll get over oh, three yeah. above it. You'll get, like, 60 for each one you trade, so it's a pretty amazing. Oh, I'm just, I forgot, too, because, yeah, yeah, you get that stuff mining, too. I forgot that, like, when you're mining... Yeah, um, the stuff that's that pointless. Stuff you kind of go, just trade down for the, the lowest ones are quite useful. I'm out. Is everyone out? Yep. We can jump in again. We're all out. Okay. Moving back to Tyrannus. The first Titan. First to enter, first to leave. Do you, uh, is it, what, what's the progress been to? Are, like, are there like any more Titans that are getting closer? I think the next ones are going to take a little bit of time or whatever, because... Yeah. Like, they're not... Um... I think they're doing... What was it? X are doing some kind of tissue sampling thing this week. Of a scout, I don't know, they're going to earn loads of money doing that. And then and that means they'll shut loads of systems down for next week. So it might be a two-week thing of shutting it down. But I haven't looked at the map, actually. I'll see what the... Uh, how many systems have got left? So it is. Oh yeah, there are 17 left. You see, 17 uh, uh, supporting systems. So that'll take like yeah. a couple of weeks probably before the next explosion. Yeah, maybe. Well, yeah, maybe. It might be one more week. Yeah. I definitely like. I wanna. I wanna see if I can get that full decal, right? Like, I think that's a, a lot of people are in yeah. that mindset where it's like, yeah, okay, I gotta be there for yeah. every single Titan. It's kind of like it's a large responsibility. Yeah, you've got to watch some more. That's a fun thing. Oh man, there's nothing much, is it? I saw I saw one guy who was like, "Yeah, I missed the first one because I was out exploring, and now I can never get the, <laughs> the completion." And someone's just like, "Dude, just get then you can get seven out of eight. It's fine." <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, don't, don't worry. Like, brother, okay, who's dropping the proximity mines? This is already a pretty cluttered instance. Who's doing this? Ooh, look at that. Are those rescue ships? Oh, they're AX pilots. Look at that, the, there's a little conflict here. That's cute. Yeah, that is cute, isn't it? Who, okay, that's the guy dumping the Trox City mines. A rescue vessel. Okay, what kind of rescue <laughs> vessel goes around dropping mines? I know there's AX dump files as well. It's like, what's going on? It's like, I, I can't scroll through this list fast enough. There's just more mines coming in. Okay, I'm gonna take that Titan Heart. Thargoid Heart. Well, this is entertaining. Yeah. All the mines are starting to blow up. Yeah. I'm like, please, limpets, please, limpets, do not try to pick up the proximity mines. That would yeah. be bad. <laughs> that would be very bad. <laughs> we found this lovely shiny thing for you, <laughs> Captain. <laughs> I'll just put this next to the engine. Yeah. <laughs> the other 47 that I found earlier when you were sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> 57 thorns is in. Uh, you did a lot of laser mining for platinum, another relaxing thing and fun to groove. You had to trade up a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, platinum, I need, I should go mining, right? Like, I need money. I'm at what? 800 million? Listen, 800 I went million? mining for two nights Nine and I million. aren't hurt. You know, after the uh, Thargoid killing, it, it's, it's kind of made everything seem not worth it, which is terrible because it is all worth it. But What the hell is that? There's like a little fuzzy bit over here. A fuzzy bit? It's like fuzzy space. Fuzzy space. What is that? It's moving, so like it's definitely not part of the background. There's a yeah. little little caustic cloud, I guess. What's 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 the deal? What is this? It's just a tiny little cloud. Can I can I go in there and get a caustic? Oh, little, little cloud. 
You could like hide, <laughs> in, hide in here. Okay, Is that like a, a dead scale or what? I don't know. I've never seen a, the cloud of that permanence. This is Cram. So I'm too many hits. Oh wait, Cram was the guy trying to pirate us. I think we ended up in the same instance, didn't we? No, wait, maybe we just Although, it, just our it seems like there's. It seems like there's more. Yeah, maybe the NPC just has the same name. Yeah, maybe I feel like the debris field over here seems like a good place. No, this has to be a different instance. There's way more stuff here. Yeah. Still not seeing what we're, I guess, looking for, which is the drive. Uh, what is it? Titan drive components or something like that? Yeah, just drive components, isn't it? Oh, right. Take that. Third right there's, right. No, there's no more abrasion things in here. Or still, I mean, there's nothing else to, to shoot at. That looks cool, though. So that could that could that could mean like maybe we are getting an instance that they just like that has already been pillaged. Yeah, might be just pillaged to pieces. Oh, okay. cargo hatch. Cargo yeah. What did we get? What did we get? What did our limpets bring home? Let's see, meta alloys, organ samples, custom tissue sample. Oh, I got a sensor. Nice, and a deep tissue sample. Interesting. Okay, <laughs> why can't I seem to get that heart? Okay, it's over there. I, I'm happy. I'll take more heart, Thargoid hearts. Yeah, man, it's yeah, money, no. isn't it? But no, this, this no. But you're right, though. It's like Elite is not a good game for completionists because you will never complete it. There's too much, <laughs> and that's actually yeah. a great thing because that means you'll never run out of stuff to do, right? Like, didn't we get to zero point zero six percent or something, or oh, whatever it was? We've gone up of the galaxy found now. That would that'd be like, okay, so my my uh, mission is basically I want to visit every single star system in Elite. <laughs> yeah. It's like, and, uh, you know, step one is uh, I'm investing in um, life extension technology because I think I'll need about 10,000 years to, uh, <laughs> yeah. to at least, you know, get a quarter of the way. It's a... Uh... 40,000 computers you can run all at once to try and... But, like, do you think, okay, do you think there's enough players that, like, if Canon were to make, like, the ultimate spreadsheet of Doom, and their their goal was basically, okay, we want to have at least a player visit every single system. Like, we want it to be, like, you have now explored 100% of the galaxy. Like, how many players, if every, everyone was assigned a system, so if they're, like, every single player, like, these are the systems that you need to visit to do your part, right? It's like, like even if there were like ten thousand players, we would each get a list of like ten thousand systems. Like it's it was four hundred billion. I think is it four hundred billion? Yeah. Stars. Like we would, we would like even if every single person on Earth played Elite Dangerous, you'd have to visit more than one system. Yeah. Like everyone would have to visit like, like sixty, and then, like you'd have to get like ba then it includes like the babies. You have babies, yeah, yeah. babies in space. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> How did this baby get to space? Space babies. Space babies. Oops. Just try to scoot some up in their biostorage maps and, and uh, just squash them. So yeah. Oh yeah, you just run into the thing. Remember when you run into the thing that you're trying to scoop and it just explodes on your windshield? Yeah, yeah there's like, a guy inside it. Here's a little yeah. bit there, we can just scrape it off the windshield, right? Yeah, yeah. Just give me a tooth. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember before Limpets, and it was like, like your ship actually matters too. Like if you have to manually scoop, like there are some ships that are just terrible at it. Like the Orca's okay, uh, but, yeah, some, but some, some just, ships have just yeah. a weird scoop placement where it's like you can't help but hit things with your nose when you're trying to scoop them. <laughs> yeah, there's not much here, is there? Titan partials, yeah. Corsic shards, all that Like, did, did you, me. do you think that there was more stuff um, at the other Titan, or do you I think- I think there was, yeah. It might there's less here. It might just be instancing, though. It could just be that, like, we ended up in an instance that... Well, again, this this looks like it's just a I mean, bit isn't it? Well, let's let's try another reset. We'll see see what happens if we reset, like leave and come back again. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
can try leg on again as well. I would like to find at least one of these mysterious rare uh, drive components because you know that like something's gonna some, they're working they're gonna unlock something. Yeah, like I said, it's gonna be like an amazing new FSD, which you have to wait for otherwise. So yeah. The only FSD that will allow you to get into the permit locked COL 70 sector. Or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not implausible. It's not. Do -do -do -do. Okay, I'm gonna... This is just far too relaxing. I've been all about food yeah. for this. I'm just like drifting off. It's yeah, terrible. right? <laughs> yeah. It's like, okay. So, welcome, like, welcome to the uh, uh, yeah. Welcome to Smash Bros. Stream. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> Twitch Twitch sleep streamer you could be. be great. No, people do that though. They, they there's like a girl that like Mental. streams herself yeah. sleeping, and people like to like when people watch it. Do they? Uh, like just put on the audio and kind of it's in the background or, or do they like sit there with their popcorn? I don't know. Yeah, I've, I've been on Twitch a few times and that's been like at the top stream of like two and a half thousand people watching someone sleep. I'm just like, wait, just reminds maybe, me. Maybe it's good. It reminds yeah. me of um, there's a Tim and Eric sketch where it's like uh, the Cinco sleep chair. Cinco helps you watch your friends sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a chair designed to like. Well, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna head back in. I think you guys are both out in super. Okay. Yeah, I'm out. Looks like it. I wonder if these, um, if there's like new signal sources here around the Titans, like, yeah. or if maybe the, some of the loot could spawn in there. I don't know. Like, I'm assuming that like signal sources in some cases, like the loot's randomized. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you think so, wouldn't you? Okay, jumping but back in, and let's see. Do I? I see I'm... commanders, but I don't know if they're, if they're the same. It's hard to know if you're in like a new instance or not, right? Yeah, we're still all got the same names. But it should be, if we were jumps out, it should must be a new instance, isn't it? Well, it opened, you never know, right? But okay, I, I, I'll check and see if there's like uh, abrasional bold bits on the. on the, the bits. Abrasional bold bits. The abrasional bold bits on the bits. Get my collector out, might as well. Yeah, Burn mentioned races my... that Burn mentioned there's even more stuff at Lagong Dum Song. In the what? Yeah. There seems to be more stuff there's... at Lagong Dim Song. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So Le Legong, we probably should go back to Legong and do it there. Also, because it's caustic, like less people are probably like there for yeah. long periods of time. Like in theory, you could just sit in the middle of this and stop um to a sleep, new sleep, sleep like, stream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do the sleep stream in open to instant slog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do yeah. feel like there's more shit here, though. But hold on. Just do it I seem to always drop out about 80 kilometers away. It's really annoying. I do not know why. So many glaive tissue samples. Yeah. Wait. Collector, what do you do? Why do you do this? What's wrong with you? Uh... Uh, I don't see the thing. Okay, whose limpets are there? <laughs> That's a lot of limpets. I'm gonna take that glaive and scythe tissue samples because yeah, it could I don't be think I there. have them. I don't know. Has there actually been any use for tissue samples? Because like, I can't think of anything where they've been like, oh, like we need tissue samples. Like maybe a, for... maybe a CG or something like that, but. Yeah, there's the caustic tissue samples to get some of the things, isn't it? The uh, for the caustic sink needed a tissue sample, I think. Oh, uh, okay. But yeah, I can't remember that. There's yeah, because you could get all these different things from the um, Titans, couldn't you? And I didn't know if any of them were any use. Okay, and it's too hard for me. Don't know if I can get that glaive tissue sample because it's in collector the thing and it's in the middle. Just ah. blown up my collector limpet. My collector limpet doesn't understand what a wall is there. Four. <laughs> Look at biomechanical conduits. No, I have those. Yeah. Oh, there's actually quite a lot of stuff here. Hold on. Uh, da 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 da. <laughs> da 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 da. 
A fresh one. Programming the input drone. I don't know. See, I'm always 80 kilometers out. 80 kilometers? Yeah, and if I drop, I'm 80 kilometers Oh, baby, away. do you have frame, sh um, or what do you call it? Like the wingmate? Um, Thing, team Beacon, or what it's called. Because sometimes team, that has issues near Minchin. planets and can. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't think I had it on. Yeah, this is definitely Where'd that a be, new though? instance. That be in, like... the, in the ship bit. Beacon team. Uh, it's like Another so much one? reading here, and I'm just looking for what the word drive, right? Okay. Yeah. Looking for the word drive. Ooh, caustic crystals. I do want those. I only have 12 of them. And of course, my limpet just keeps dying. It keeps running into things. Titan drive components. Okay, okay. But I'm looking for the what? word drive in like a sea of letters that I have to read. You know how I am with reading. <laughs> okay, let me just get that caustic crystal. Then I feel like Ed Star's like the separate. really patient parent going, no, it's Titan. Like, <laughs> over and over again. So we go, what? What? What are we finding? It's like, it's like, you know, it's like taking piano lessons. It's like, get it right! <laughs> <laughs> it's a B sharp! You played a B! Or no, it's like, no, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a B sharp, you played a C. <laughs> Like, but, 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 don't but, but me! Get to your room! <laughs> Go to your room. <laughs> Till you learn how to do this. I feel, I'm feeling lucky about this instance. I feel there's something, I got like a vibe here. The magic, some magic is gonna happen. My, like, instincts are just, you know, surging. Yeah, we're gonna see some crazy rare stuff that we've never seen before. Uh, there's so much stuff. But I guess, like, yeah, I guess, like, like Dead Star was saying, this might not be near the center, so maybe going out towards these rocks could be good. Yeah. Repair limpet failed. What do you mean, repair limpet failed? I didn't... Okay, okay. Sorry, the rescue squad's sending uh, useless limpets at me. It's like, I don't even have hull damage. Why are you, why are you limpeting me? Because they're bored. That's how the NPC, NPCs rebel against their creators. Still not seeing any of it. Like, it, I, I guess, like, the loot spawns within a certain area. There hasn't been a useful reason for collecting 80% of the stuff in AD since it started. Time for a crafting tree. Yeah, right? Okay, that's actually, like, a really good idea. If, like, yeah, it's, like, a little bit of resin and this... Or like give each um, give each like um, item a sort of like quality, where it's like even if it's yeah. a, whether it's a Thargoid carapace or like a mechanical scrap, like those are can be all converted into um, building components or whatever. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah, everything can be it? boiled down to a um, raw material, and then maybe you could like build anything from raw materials, in, in, but using a lot of them. Like, not, a, not a bad idea, and... no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's like you can make Thargoid spit if you have enough um, lemon juice and turmeric. <laughs> yeah. That's, a... That's another stream we must do. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking with Thargoids. <laughs> <laughs> lemon, lemon grass and Thargoid spit. It's amazing. <laughs> and just a dash of oregano to get that sort of like alien, yeah, yeah, yeah. alien yeah. sensation <laughs> on your on, on the ice cream. Yeah. There's nothing is there. I call it bio storage capsule. Like there's a lot of stuff. It's just not the one specific thing that we're looking for that yeah. apparently is super rare. And um, I don't know what to do. But that's okay. This is chill. Okay. This is chill. Uh, a lot of AX pilots here, so like I feel safe. But yeah, also they keep, little... but they keep limping me, and that's annoying. Get your limpets off me. I don't want to, Don't touch me. But, <laughs> yeah, I, I wish I could, fix you know what would be cool? Um, and cause I, I remember they're talking about like Python Mark II having like some special capabilities that had never been seen before, kind of thing. Yeah. <clears throat> I would love an electrified hull. Right. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know quite what that means or the implications. I mean, <laughs> I want it to do something. 
uh, you know, keep people away. Maybe it, it, it can short out hatchbreakers. Um, uh, maybe if it's electrified, it it, it, it it's like acts as extra shielding from a, for a laser weapons. And obviously, it would suck your power capacitor, system capacitor, or whatever, right? But I think electrified hall, cool. Yeah, yeah, this is cool. That's what I want. Yeah. They can, they can do something, I don't care what, but, you know, I just want to be able to push a button and see little lightning uh, arcs all over my ship, right? Yeah, why not? And make it do a thing, and uh, everybody's happy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the rest is from this inside. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm not finding any of these rare things, but it's like, space is big, and I don't know if I'm looking in the right place. Yeah. Let me see if I can abrasion blast anything. I'll get some, I might as well get some bones. Good old Thargoid bones. Yeah, where'd you get those from? Let's see, what's this? I've got all oh, assist pearls here again. Did you have to shoot those, did you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got something over here. Yeah, if you want, because you don't have abrasion, do you? Yeah, so don't worry. Yeah. I got some over here. I don't know if these are cysts per se. Let's see here. So you use that it dead is... star. Yeah, it is uh, organic membrane. So if you want to organic so membrane. Okay. Limpet, do your dirty. Okay, I might take a bio break while the limpet does its very important task of stuff. <laughs> Get the stuff. Where is it? Where is it? Where are you, Limpet? It's like, where's Limpet? You should put a little Waldo hat on it. Where's Waldo? You should name the Limpet Waldo. Yeah. No, no, no. Actually, that's that, that's breaking rule number one. Never name your Limpets. Don't get too no, attached, because... They don't last. They, they don't dare. They're like mice, pets, and things. Exactly. They don't live long. Exactly. <laughs> it's like a, more like mayflies. <laughs> mayflies, yeah. <laughs> Here you are, kid. I've got your first pet, a mayfly. Got about right. nine minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and tomorrow you're going to learn a very important lesson about pets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do a quick bio break. Um, oh. Watch your kidneys. And hopefully, um, when I'm back, my limpets will have done a lot of work and uh, won't complain about it for years. Like my ship NPC pilot. <laughs> All right, BRB. Okay, I am back. Now let's see what did the good work of our limpets do. How what do we got now? We've got three organ samples. Oh, lovely. 
Decontamination limpet failed. <laughs> I'm being decontaminated by the NPC still. Let's see here. Orthia's tissue sample. That's pretty good. I'll be having one of those, please. Uh, too busy for kidneys. <laughs> it's like I got. I don't have time for kidneys. It's like unless unless they're served um, heated and, and um, on a plate as a quick snack. Still looking out for these like thingies. Round and round we go. Orpheus tissue sample. Oh no, it's inside the thing again. Why are they all like inside the thing? Spanky says, I'm out of here. An NPC in the Spanky, wonderful. I guess cosmic tissue sample. Uh, take, one, take one of those, I guess. Oh. Collector limpet. I think if you actually target something with your collector limpet. Did he just jump, like, right there? Can you even jump? Like, he's vast locked. What? Uh, EDOMH now has a new ship editor. What's EDOMH? Is that like a Coriolis kind of thing? I don't think I'm familiar with that one. Decontamination limpet failed. Collector limpet expired. Programming limpet drone. Yeah, I don't know. What's not, happened? Not seeing. Oh, I got back and uh, got some stuff. Oh, assist specimen. We'll take some assists. We'll do some assists. Might as well. You never know what these. You know, it's like it's the collector mentality. Yeah. And here's my lovely collection of assists. Wait, is that a crate? <laughs> Who's there in a crate? Like not on radar. They're in a cool crate. Hello. Another. Another commander. Yeah. I'm just like, yeah. I, I didn't see him here. And then there's like some guy who's like, uh, anything interesting out here? There's Commander oh, this guy's a Chacoon in a Anaconda. What's that sound? God, oh, stop it, stop the sound. Detective Membrane Scrap, that's what I got before. But it's no use, yeah, is it? Yeah, we want that sweet, sweet drive component, right? Yeah, yeah. Detected. Well, I think uh, probably probably more likely to find this stuff at um, Legong, I'm thinking. Decontamination mm. failed. But yeah, I'm going to uh, uh, some random uh, concert tonight. My buddy was oh, just yeah. like, hey, do you want to see the, this band tomorrow night? And I'm, yeah, why not? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. That's my attitude now, but anytime someone asks me to go see a band, I don't need to know about them. Sure. Okay. Yeah. I love they're they're to... doing something. That's what I think is always cool. Yeah. I love going to see live music. and We're actually we're doing an open mic again on Sunday. We did one last Monday. It was really fun. We did, uh, uh, like, well, technically three songs. We kind of merged two together, which I... Because basically, the or, you know, it's like you get to do two songs. So we're like, we'll just yeah, yeah. mash two of them together and you can't stop us if we don't stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we just keep going, keep going. Right? Yeah. And so, yeah, we did it. We did it. It went pretty well. And then we're going to, uh, we've got another one uh, that we're going to do tomorrow night. Um, so it's going to be interesting. That's cool, <clears> man. That's great. And getting out there and doing stuff. And it's cool. We meet a lot of people at the show. I met this other guy. I'm going to end up going to see his show next Thursday. Uh, he did like um, some kind of like crazy jazz piano sort of stuff. But I'm just oh, like, wow. yeah. He's but it had a little tinge of humor or whatever, and he's like, yeah, I'm doing some show, and I'm like, all right, yeah, I'll go. Well, if someone asks me to go to a concert, I just I, unless I'm yeah, man, I actually yeah, have something to do, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, well, again, it's feeding the soul. That's a good thing. It's it's real stuff. That's what I like seeing. And seeing like local musicians and like indie artists and stuff like that is so much more interesting than, than sometimes seeing these bigger ones because you don't know what to yeah. expect and oftentimes totally. like it's a little more intimate and... yeah, I, always yeah. have, I always have a good time going out to shows right, did I get that? yeah I just can't get this oh, yeah. or I can't get this Orthrius tissue because it's like stuck inside of a of a big big boy what's that? Our wreckage components I don't need that 
Um, well, do you want to head to Legong? Or do you? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not too much, should we? I might have to call it a, a night for myself soon. I'm really struggling. You get, the, sleep, you get the sleepy, the sleepiness there. Yeah, I don't know. I might, I, I do get allergies sometimes with um, gluten. And I've had some wheat or something, but I feel really like. Uh, if I, it's like it's it's a, a lot. I, I've been having that a lot, where it's like if I have like a burger and fries kind of thing, and then yeah. it's just like immediately after, and I say, "Oh God, I'm so sleepy," and, <laughs> and, and it's like, and it's like I fall into a coma, um, and then kind of wake up. Uh, three hours later, uh, very confused. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which is what I usually get with gluten and things. It's like, it's just a, it's not a nice feeling, but it's just pretty bonkers. So yeah. yeah. Oops. It's like I, t you know, I try to uh, not to eat typically before I go to go to bed or whatever, because usually I don't have a good sleep or whatever. Yeah. But sometimes you're hungry. Sometimes yeah, it's not as fun. I was like last night I was watching that Everest movie and just like I, I had bought um. A uh, pack of red vines. I don't know if you know red vines. They're like Twizzlers or whatever. It's like little liquor, oh, yeah, liquor, yeah. liquor sticks or whatever. Cool, man. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna head back to the Dangabus, I think. Um, the Dangabus. The Dangabus. The d -d 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 Dangabus. Um, <laughs> 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 but yeah, it's like uh, for, oh, oh, that's actually kind of far. Oh God! Now that I have cargo, I actually. Have, Oh yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, wait, 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 my fuel scoop is off. That's why I never, <laughs> so that's why I don't have that much fuel. <laughs> that makes a lot of oh, sense. yeah, yeah, oops. yeah, oops. <laughs> kind of need, need that to be on if it's going to be useful. I'll just keep an eye on stuff while I leave just in case. Watch me like, it's like right at the last minute before I jump. It's like you see one on the radar and then, and then the hyperdrive kicks in. But yeah, I was yeah. Like, I was like, yeah, I was like, I, I, I bought a pack of red vines, and you know, it's like, okay, like I'm sitting there, munching away on them, and then I just look down, and I'm like, oh, it's the last one. What have I done? I ate a whole pack, <laughs> a whole packet of red vines, and watched Fine. this terrifying mountain movie. It's just such a downer at the ending, cause it, like the deaths are so understated. Because it's <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. it's like supposed to be like, it's one of those movies where you can tell that they're trying to keep it. It's like based on a true story, and they're trying to be as like accurate as possible but there were so yeah. many moments in it where i was like i kind of wish that they had gone more hollywood movie with this like there's one part where like um they try to send a helicopter up the mountain to rescue people but like the air is really mm. thin up there so the helicopter's all wobbling and it's like coming in for a landing and, and kind of like gyrating right and i'm like wouldn't it be cool if like it accidentally chopped that guy's head off like the helicopter like <laughs> yeah, yeah. came down and just chopped that guy to bits I'm like, that, well, pro that probably didn't happen in real life, but, you know, it's a movie. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit make-believe is fun. Do it. You can do it. Four, three, two, one, engage. So Luke's got a new CPU. What have you got, Luke? Oh, I keep my God. Getting one. Yeah, what do, you, what do you have? Like a Pentium? Got like a, I've got an old i7, I and I really want to get some. Even if it's a new i7 would be good. It's about 10 years old in this thing. It's, oh, come on. Like, my computer's Small. pretty good. Um, like, I got it, like, what, a couple of years ago? And mm. it's still, like, I think it's still pretty, like, it does what I need it to do and all that sort of stuff, but um, it is, like, a pre-built, and the the case sort of um, doesn't really lend well to upgrades. Oh, shit, I ran into the sun. Right, so we're kind of, they've, they've made it, to, it's, it's what it has, I think, yeah. It, it, well, it's one of those things where, like, I don't even have, like, an extra PCI slot. Um, yeah, yeah. The, oh, like, and if I wanted that. to swap out the motherboard, it's, like, all very, like, you know, yeah, like, like, like it's all, well, it's not glued in, but it's just, like, it, everything fits. Yeah, and yeah. So it's one yeah. of those things where it's, like, it, it, it discourages me from doing the whole, like, I'll upgrade it bit by bit and kind of, yeah. you know, replace yeah. it. I love that whole thing where it's, like, if, you know, it's, like, if you get an axe and then, mm. let, let's say, you know, um, you, uh, um, chop up uh, uh, some guys attacking you and you chop them up and bury them in the forest or whatever right but then you, yeah but then you break the axe handle and then so then you go to the hardware store and you get a new axe handle and you put the head on the new axe handle right and then a couple you know a couple years later you're chopping some wood and the head breaks so you replace the head and then that guy that you chopped up a couple years ago and buried in the forest comes back as a zombie so you chop him up again and then, or like you go to chop him up again, and right before it, the zombie looks at you and says, "That there is the axe who killed me." 
but is it? <laughs> that was the the intro to the movie. Uh, uh, John is dead at the end. John dies at the end. Right. <laughs> it's like, is it still the same axe? You replace it bit by bit. Computers are like that, right? It's like it's yeah, still the same yeah, computer. Totally. And swap out new RAM and then change the motherboard yeah. and all that. Yeah, that's what I've got. It's only got like about four or five drives in it. I, I keep going on it. I, my last one about nine drives in it. It's really nice to just put new ones in. But I have to like try and take one out, copy the other one, and then replace it. So, so yeah, I need to get a new motherboard. But then, then that means you have to do everything. So, yeah. I do. So I, AMD. I, I do need more hard drives. Yeah. I need them. I deleted exactly. like all my Thunder Dangus footage. Like, and that cleared up one entire hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> What's the mental thing? I've got like these two terabyte hard drives, but they all get full really quickly. It's just like, what happened? Why well, that's a big I think that's so big. You know what I mean? Everything yeah. everything is just like huge now. It, it's it was funny, my buddy was like um, talking about some video or some like he's like, Oh I gotta download this app, it's three hundred megabytes. I'm like, dude, I remember when like one point four four megabytes was like, oh no, I can't put this on one floppy disk, like and now like like three hundred three hundred megabytes is nothing. Yeah. It's like you download like a, a update. It's like update, change some textures around in the game. Download size thirty gigabytes. Like, <laughs> you know, it's, yeah. I used to. Get, I first got a sampler. I could, I could do a whole track with one megabyte of memory. I mean, it's like mm -hmm. it's, nowadays you just kind of go, yeah, we've got like an infinite amount you can have on. Yeah, it's just that. It's crazy, man. Yeah. It seems like there's always more and more to get. <laughs> right. Uh, well, don't worry, like, get, get, get a, a raid. Synology disk station, NAS, I don't even know what that is. Wow. Gigabyte B450 SDH? Huh? Wow. I don't know what that is. It's a motherboard. Oh, it's a motherboard. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, when it comes to computer stuff, like, I, I'm not... Usually it's like, everyone's got that friend that they go to, like, the, the guy who's... You'd be like, yeah, I'm yeah. thinking about buying a new computer, what do you recommend? And they go... I've waited. I've been waiting for this day for years. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And they're uh, like, unleash. They're my like, knowledge. I, uh, I prepared a hundred, uh, hundred tab spreadsheet for this, and it's like, yeah, they yeah. Get, they, and it's like, yeah, like, okay, like, thank you for this guidance because I would have just been like, what's like uh, medium price? What's good but like not expensive? Some of these computers would be crazy. Liquid cooling. I've seen some like crazy, like, like water cooled computers or whatever. I mean, like, part of it, part of, like, this is the thing, I don't trust myself to shop for electronics because I'm so lured by, um, uh, I get, like, distracted by shiny things. Like, the computer I have, like, when you turn it on, it has, yeah. like, the, you know, freaking rainbow lights everywhere and LEDs and all Ooh. that sort of stuff. And it's, like, it's so like, pretty. Yeah. It's like, this one's yeah. better, but this one's pretty. I want, yeah. I want that shiny one. I can't do it with guitars though. I buy guitars that look nice. You know what I mean? It's like oh, she just go with the sound, but they they have to look cool. So. Oh yeah. Oh, naturally. I mean, like most guitars look cool, but some of them, some of them, just, they don't. They aren't for me. But yeah. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Like it's one of those things where like I I if I walk into a vinyl store or I walk in like a record store or I walk into like a guitar store, I'm like actively trying to avoid looking at stuff because you just yeah. want to buy everything, right? I know, yeah. I really want to get a Jaguar. I've been wanting for the last yeah. three years. And it's yeah. like, I can't afford it, but I just really want one now, and it's terrible. So Jaguar, yeah. a Mustang, I would, I would take both. Um, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, it's terrible. So I don't need them. But, what up, Lola? But now I do need them, because obviously they'll make everything better. Well, the, the dangerous part is, like, I was on, like, Facebook Marketplace, and, like, Facebook Marketplace is a terrible place to go, because there's so yeah. many used guitars. And some of them, like, the price is, like, like, like you know, it's like you go into a guitar shop and it's all going to be retail, right? But you go on yeah. Facebook Marketplace and it's like, oh, wow, a Telecaster, 700 bucks from Mexican <laughs> Mexican Tele? And, but then you that you get that sense of, like, well, if it's a guitar shop, it's like, I'll come back in two weeks, that guitar's still going to be there, or they'll order a new one, right? But on Marketplace, yeah, yeah. you look at it and go, like, that could be gone, like, in five minutes. Like, I yeah, yeah. feel the need to, like, do it, right? Yeah. But I'm like, no, no more guitars. I, I, dangerous. <laughs> I, I have a problem right now where it's like, okay, I've got two bass guitars, one acoustic, technically two electrics, but one of them is at this point just set dressing because because right. I smashed it long ago. Um, but it's, it's and actually, no, I've got 
two acoustic guitars. One's just in the closet. I don't know where to put them all. I don't know. Where, 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 <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I might have, yeah, I have, I have like physical space to keep them. So it's like it's like <laughs> I have to like sleep with one at night. <laughs> Keeps my back straight. Judy. No. Call it Ju Judy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> little Judy. <laughs> no, no, yeah, I'm like, yeah. But it's too a, many, yeah. too many guitars and things in my room. It's all good. It's all good fun. That's the thing. It's all good fun until you gotta pay the bills. <laughs> I know. Yeah. It's like shit. Yeah. 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 I yeah. I did buy some stuff a few months ago, and I was like, I really couldn't actually afford that, but I just, I waited for ages. So I thought, now I'm allowed to have it. But then it's like, oh no, I haven't earned any more money that month. So yeah. Fuck. But that, it's, that's it's right. that's a good way to do it, where it's kind of like anytime you're feeling like you're gonna do an impulse buy. To just yeah. sort of like say, well, okay, I'm gonna give it a day, and if I still desperately need it tomorrow, then I'll do it. But <laughs> yeah, it's like usually it's like a day will let the the juices, the impulse, the whatever. Yeah, I don't really I just go away to the, the ennui uh, dissipate. Put them on. And the I bought. I guess the I cool thing it. is, is um, Behringer have been putting out these like really cheap synths for like eighty dollars sort of thing and they're um they're basically like ninety synth chips they bought from like cool synths and they put them out in this little tiny body you can plug it into other things to make cool sounds but it's like you get that big buzz of buying a new a, you know analog synthesizer okay. but it's only cost you like eighty bucks so 80 it's bucks like, is I, I, amazing yeah yeah it's cool and they look like little toys so I like that so yeah that that gives that gives me fulfills that kind of Desperate need to spend all my royalties on guitars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if I'm this, I must buy a guitar. Yeah. Eighty dollars synthesizer, just like it, like it, it, like it calms down the monster inside of you. It does you totally. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, go, oh, I pay my rent acquire, instead. Acquire more instruments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure within the year I'll have a Jaguar. I'm sure it's been it's been brewing for a while. Oh, just to get a good rules yeah, check. Right, right now it's sorry. like for me like the, the, the thing is like I really want a Telecaster. Right, right. Yeah, I love the things. I've always just liked the sound of them. I, I love the look of them. Oh. They're, but it's like I'm not going to get like a Squire Telecaster made in China. Like I, like maybe yeah. a Squire made in Mexico, sure. But like it's like uh, if yeah, I get yeah. a Telecaster I want like a really nice one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's like I'll go all out on it, but it, it is like something I keep coming back to, and I'm like I will not be satisfied until I have a Telecaster in my hands. <laughs> then you want something else, after. but no, I mean yeah. Well, yeah, and then, yeah well then the, the, yeah. the next the next one, then it'll be a flying V or something like that. Just like, yeah, no, yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A double necked flying V. Or have you seen the guy? What's his name? Michelangelo Baccio. Um, he's like that guy who did the famous video where he's like shredding in a gold's gym t-shirt with like a bowl cut and he's like oh yeah 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 like shredding on a on a four necked guitar or whatever and it's like <laughs> yeah. yeah the dude has one there was some guy did a video on it recently where they like visited him and like like set up the four neck or whatever and it, it's it stands on like a mount that can rotate right. crazy um, just, this is the craziest 80s like again it's just like <laughs> just like the 70s the 80s so much cool shit people are Drumming for lions in the in Africa and making double, triple yeah, V neck yeah, yeah. guitars like, and it's like all now it's not is it's like what it's it's like people get tattoos on their face that's it right, um, yeah, yeah like music well you, music used to make a lot of money and now it doesn't make anything because you're yeah. a guy isn't it that's true not fair we have, have to try and be so simple with certain things now and sleep have sleep you want you want to make money you got to make honey that's it right. Yeah, yeah. Go, go make some, <laughs> make some honey. You'll make more money. It's just specimens. I got so many of those. Okay, I. Bro, well, Matt, I'm gonna go. I think I'm having a weird allergy thing. Oh I'm no worries. Struggling. Well, pleasant, it's weird, dude. Pleasant dreams. But yeah, yeah. Have a good gig as well when you get your gig, man. Yeah, thank you. It'll be uh, yeah tomorrow night or whatever. I'm excited for it because it's a cool little country western venue. It'll be fun. Yes, yeah, so, man. Yeah, sounds cool. Don't Wait. don't get into a giant fight with people. Well, I mean that with, unless that's, that's like, kind of part of the act, right? <laughs> yeah, all the chairs will explode like in the movies. Yeah. Like, it's like, and then so, <laughs> and then so after the bridge of this song, we go uh, flailing our fists into the audience and pick up fist fight, yeah. and then throw a chair at, uh, <laughs> you know, 
But uh, enjoy, enjoy your enjoy your uh, allergic. Uh, oh, yeah, I've a nice allergic your carb, coma. Your carby, yeah. your carby coma. <laughs> yeah. I'll see you guys. Just see. This is it. It goes on. All right, I gotta head back to. I am the king of the castle. I'm the king of the castle. I'm gonna head back to the uh, Legong. I'm determined. I want to get one of these little bits. Like I can probably only stream for another. Oh, it's already five. Uh, I could do another like forty minutes or so. Cause I got that concert. I gotta get ready for. I gotta eat before then too. I actually like. It's like Easter weekend or whatever, so a lot of the stores are, are closed. So I kind of like did some meal prep. Um, did a whole like to do a time kick. I yeah at the at the, at the in the good luck yeah. I, I remember where the kick is. I was practicing the kick. So this is, you'll appreciate this. But I don't, everyone else will be like, what the fuck? But I was practicing that, that time kick, but I was wearing my flip-flops. And I did the kick and just... The shoe flew and, like, hit my TV and knocked over a VHS. I was like, oh boy. Okay, I'm like, then I thought, I'm like, I should wear flip-flops for the show because it's kind of funny. But I don't want to, like, you know, knock someone's eye out with my Birkenstocks, you know? Well, he's... he's, he's officer! I was just going out to see some music, and next thing you know, a Birkenstock is hitting me and giving me a concussion. No, we don't want that to happen. Okay, please don't let this be a glaive. Hold on, what is it? I don't see a swarm that concerns me. Oh, whatever. It's just a cyclops or something, a basilisk. Uh, tie it on with elastic so it comes back! <laughs> I love that! Oh my god! Did it hit one of your many guitars? No, it did not. It did not. Well, you have more fucking guitars than me, dude. You've got a fucking, like, what, six guitars or something like that? I think, well, like, cause yeah, two basses, one electric, technically two electrics, but they don't really count it. And then two acoustics. So technically I have six guitars. Ha ha. But yeah, so friggin' um, Four, three, two, these one. rare components. I'm, I'm like, just finding, just finding one would be nice. Just finding one. I've got my caustics. Okay, hold on. Do I have enough limpets? Where? Okay, hold on. No, I'm in hyperspace. For some reason, when you're in between stars, you know. Uh oh. It's actually empty. Hold on. Whoa! 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 Where did my limpets go? Oh, I can't believe I'm gonna do this. This is such a waste of precious, precious iron and nickel. Fine. You have an extra acoustic one I didn't know about. Yeah, it's a resonator. They keep it in my closet. It needs, um, I need to take it in and get it looked at. It's got a little buzz to it, but yep. There might be another guitar in there if you just you get lost in that closet. It's one of those things that everyone has that closet where it's like when you don't know where this thing goes or you just want it out of sight, you just put it in the closet. And so it's like, we all have that one closet that's just packed with random shit. Alright. Heading back to Legong, gonna have ourselves him. Caustic shots are everywhere! Thargoids are such a temptation! I don't know. <laughs> oh, but I, I, yeah, I am, like, friggin' uh, tired. Uh, like, I was up till maybe 3 in the morning last night. Oh, get rid of these carriers. Wait, you can actually bring carriers in here now? Okay, that's interesting. I didn't know that that was a thing. Okay, Legong, Legong, Legong. What's nice, though, is you don't get the Super Cruise interdictions. I did finish Everest. So yeah, I was talking about Everest earlier. It was like, I think it was really good. Um, I don't know. For me, maybe like seven, maybe. Like, okay. I would say this is like the very beginning, like Act One. The first half of Act One, really good. Great way to introduce the characters. Second part of Act One drags a little bit, but I can't forget that it's character building. But kind of like, it takes a while for the. For really to get into there. Like, there's a very long build-up that sort of slows down. Um, obviously, when the storm comes in and the sort of disaster happens up on the mountain, um, that was all really well done, really cool. Great build-up, great tension. 
And then I kind of, like, like the, the second half of that, so, like, kind of getting into, like, Act 2. Like, Act 2 is fairly strong. But I, I didn't think it ended well. And I know, like, obviously, like, they're trying to recreate a true story as accurate as possible. But I just found, I don't know, like, some of the deaths were, like, underwhelming. Um, like, it was good. I liked it. Um, definitely not a movie that I recommend going to sleep to. Like, I would not, like... Like, I did not feel good after watching it. I had to kind of put out a palate cleanser. Um, but, yeah, I think it was, like, well-made. I thought, like, um, again, there's not that many movies about mountaineering. Like, it's, like, Cliffhanger. Um, what was that other one? Maximum Summit? No, it was the Vertical Limit. Um, and then this one, right? And then there's, like, a bunch of documentaries and probably a, a bunch of B-movies that are about the subject. But, you know, it's still pretty good. I just get a seven because like I can't be like if I'm like judging it based, it's neat they submitted, submitted it exactly the midpoint time wise to like five seconds. Yeah, I mean, again, I feel like like that could have happened earlier, but then also like once the storm is kind of over, it sort of peters out. Like the disaster seems less. Like there's sort of I guess I don't know. Again, it was like trying to recreate a true story, so I can't fault it for that. Like again, if you were to like. Judging on the scale of, like, how accurate was it to real life, I'm sure it's, like, a 10 or a 9 or whatever. But I, I, I was saying earlier, it's, like, I really wanted, um, like, a Hollywood version of it with stupid shit and, like, you know, like, Jake Gyllenhaal was a traitor and the helicopter's trying to land there and it goes screwy and chops the guy's head off. Like, you know, I kind of wanted uh, a, fan, you know, more fantastic version of it. Where it's like, it's like, you watch Cliffhanger. Cliffhanger is like dumb as shit, but it's like, it's amazing. I like dumb as shit. I like dumb as shit movies. But, you know, again, it's it's a good watch. It's just, you know, it's like, yeah, it's like, the ending doesn't leave you feeling good. And it, I guess it's not supposed to, because like, it's a true story about actual people that died and whatever. So, fair enough. Did what it needed to do. I mean, again, there's nothing nothing wrong with how they approached it. It was, it was definitely at its moments. I liked um, some of the... Sh like, I, I'd say, like, the strongest thing was, like, when um, they did a really good job where just, like, there would be, like, um, a pan up on the mountain just showing, like, how much left was going. It would keep panning up, and a lot of those shots were super freaking cool. Do, do, do. All right, so we are looking for drive components. Somewhere in this cosmic pea soup, there might be one. Of course, this this is caustic, so we only have limited time here. And with that said, too, um, uh, I think Dead Star, you were saying these are like components that you actually need to like survive. They're not materials. You actually need to like get out of here alive and, and go back and store them. So. I gotta keep my eye on my caustics. Speaking of which, I think we'll actually that it's going a lot quicker than I thought it would. Still nothing on the radar. I really do actually like, love the ambience. So this is in like this pea soupy kind of thing. The Titan, formerly known as Legon. Not seeing any materials. Alright, pop it a costy. Okay, or three is tissue sample. I will always go for those. Let's grab one. Because these are hard to get now. I'm thinking like the easiest I ever killed the Ortheuses or whatever is when they were all like kind of glitched out, but I think Frontier kind of corrected that. I think oh no, no, to get the Ortheus tissue sample, you have to use the research limpets, right? Stack cast. Oh the cast was great. Uh, this is a different ship. This is my Orca. Like, this this one... You can customize what bobbleheads you put on there or whatever. This is my, uh... Beautiful Orca. It's a luxury ship. I feel very luxurious. Give me the sample. Give me the sample, boss. Or, like, carapace. Do we need that? Not really. Where'd all the... Creepy bits go? Uh, do, 
do do what's that what was that oh that's dead star uh okay i should causticate all right so we are looking for titan drive components but they're incredibly rare Do not suspect we will find one, but we can hope. It does seem a little bit more likely to find it here, because number one, like there's not a million people uh, screwing up the instancing, so. But it is kind of like, you know, you just have to kind of go around. Like, it would be nice if it was like uh, they spawn from a certain thing that we would know about. Oh, another Arthur Sushi sample, okay. Don't mind if I do. I mean, while I'm here. What while, while in Rome? Inside tissue sample. Nope, oh, okay, what's that over there? I see a. something. Thargadoos are patrolling. And Death Star, you were saying that you, you. it's like you're finding them not in the actual thing. You may need to try PG or solo. It's, it's possible. Coordinated, the, uh, still, oh, I missed all these messages, sorry. Uh, I just mined for rare mats to do that. still a lot of work. There's coordinated scout, scout sampling being done. Coordinated scout sampling? What's that? Like, just like, sampling, like, tissue samples of the scouts? Caustic damage detected. Oh, hold on. Caustic time. Man, what is with all the Orthius, uh, tissue samples? Place is just... Act. I think we got a fleet of scouts over there. Need to see here. Uh, Thargoid Heart. Bio Storage. Yeah, when you said these are rare, these are like absolutely rare. The AC guy put out a video. Um, or the a AX guy. It does. How many people hang out here? Ta-da. The what? The people... The icon used for how many people are watching the stream looks like a close hanger. What even is that? I don't I don't know what you, I don't know what that is. Oh oh no. I saw the word Titan and I got excited. I'm looking for the word drive. Oh, hold on. I need that. Organic circuitry, don't mind if I do. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Nothing to see here, little scout. Drive, 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 drive. Whoa, 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 collector! Why oh, you do this? Sometimes a little collector limits just like run off and get themselves into trouble, smacking into rocks. Uh, okay, no, no drive. It is really hard sometimes just to track where the heck I am in relation to this thing. Like, am I searching the same areas over and over again? Bio storage. I mean, lots of good goodies here. I mean, even though it's like, okay, I'm not finding this rare thing. Like, I'm getting a lot of really good stuff. Unfortunately, I'm running into limpets. Anything good here? What's good, my man? Sorry, I'm not really seeing stuff around the rocks. Okay, that was a waste of a repair lip, but I should not have done that. Okay. I wonder if it's like randomly generated and there's like like a 10% chance. Like if it's like not more effective to just like blast through this place, take a cursory glance, and then come back and like respawn the instance. Like I don't know if that's more efficient. What the fuck is that? Oh, wait, 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 Barefoot, how you doing? This is a dead Titan, so we blew it up. Oh, it's been like, what, Morning. two weeks now since Legong? How long has Legong been kind of dead for? But after they blow up, then they leave behind a little graveyard, and you can come in and basically find a lot of nice loot. A lot of this loot is actually, like, 
<coughs> traditionally been very like okay even though we're looking for something that's rare that we're not finding like we're finding all this stuff that is normally very rare and hard to find meta alloys and thargoid sensors and, ty and thargoid hearts like this is quite a good haul from a you know the perspective of a alien xeno collector here like i mean it's like yeah yeah like the only way to get Thargoid Arts is by blowing up a Thargoid, which in itself is a challenge. But then you have to, like, wait for the Caustic Claw to dissipate. Like, you can come here and get, like, six Thargoid Hearts in, like, one session. It's insane. Oh, Barefoot, what were you guys doing? What was the... I got to Okay, you know, don't spoil it for me because I got to watch the Ghost Draft stream. Because so I saw something about a tractor beam. I'm like, what are these guys doing? What have they... What new weirdness have they discovered in terms of... Uh, Pushing around NPCs. It is a pass on mine. I do like to push around the NPCs. They had it coming for them anyway. They clog up the system chat all the time. But yeah, I was, th I was thinking I might do the 100 screenshots thing. Because it looks like something that would be easy to um, edit. And then just like, I've got 1,400 screenshots to choose from. Morning. So I'll probably, uh, I'll probably work on that sometime um, in the next week or so. Um, other than that, it's like, like, you know, we're slowly making progress in the Xeno War. There's not much else going on. I would really, really like to get in on this community goal, though. Like, find one of these things and at least get one in there, because, again, these, um, rewards or whatever. Some, you just never know when, it's like, the, you get it in the community goal and someone who doesn't get it has to grind for, like, 14 hours to get the thing that everyone else got handed to them for just one one little small thing so I'd really like that okay engage in another Morning. caustic I think I've got like lots of caustic sinks like I've spec'd up my orca where it's like I could survive in this thing forever Mars and his contraptions <laughs> I always love it where it's just like man like like Mars just does the craziest stuff it's always fun always a good time I'm gonna watch that stream after, but I, I gotta go to a friggin' uh, thing. Is the community planning anything for the eclipse? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm I so I'm actually thinking about um, I might even just like rent a car if I have to. But like, it's, this is funny. I read a news article the other day. I asked some some folks. I'm like, because you do you want to go to Niagara Falls for the eclipse? Because like, where I'm at in Toronto or whatever, it's not full totality. I think we're like 99, 98 percent totality. I want a hundred percent. I want a hundred fifty two percent totality. All right. Um, like, you know, it's like a once-in-a-lifetime friggin' um, opportunity for a full solar eclipse. They're, they're, they're rare when you get the 100%, right? And it's like, in order to get 100%, you'd have to kind of go near Niagara Falls. Well, I d don't I see a friggin' article? Um, Niagara Falls declares state of emergency in advance of eclipse. I'm like, really? Like, they're worried that that many people are going to come down to Niagara Falls to see it? You don't have to go into Niagara Falls, but in that in that region, there's tons of like random places you could just go um, and just camp camp out and see it. Um, I definitely want to find a place in the full totality. So, like, I thought that was kind of funny. I probably won't go to Niagara Falls, but in the in that region, sure. Um, but I imagine you know a lot of people. I mean, to me, that's a it's a cool thing. That means oh shit. Okay, the limpet thankfully got that before I smacked it into the next dimension. Neutralized. Why is there nothing? I can't find this damn stuff. Ooh, deep tissue. I'll take that. It seems valuable. But yeah, um, I'm excited for it. There's also, so like, like, uh, don't watch my stream for today if... Wait, don't watch my stream for today if it could go wrong. I did the first five... It did the first five minutes as me messing with my Bluetooth settings. And then the game hit it, maybe restarted with power time. Oh, we've all been there. I don't know if you saw, like, with the Radio 7 stream, this was like the the charity stream a couple, no, it was last year, right? Um, I can't remember, time is relative. But, um, hold on, is, am I out of collectors? No, it's still out there. Hold on, I have to swap these around. But yeah, like, okay, lovely. Uh, how many freaking Orpheus things do I already have? Oh my god, there's just so many Orpheus tissue samples here. 
I do wonder, like, does does stuff new stuff spawn in when you're in instance, or do you have to reset it? There's the good stuff. There's the good stuff. <coughs> um, it's because there's only one main highway, and that's what they use for all the trade and shit. Oh, true. But I mean, at the same token, like, but in the state of emergency, people want to stare at the sun. Like, it's not that big of a deal. I won't take the highways. I'll take the low roads. But I definitely want to do something for that. I got my solar glasses. I tested them out the other day, just staring at the sun, which is kind of fun, actually. I'm like, I could see that being a pastime. It's like, uh, you know, it's like, that would be like something you put on the dating profile. Instead of like long walks on the beach, it's like, I enjoy um, sitting on the grass and staring directly in the sun. But it, it, it is kind of cool, like when you um, use like actual solar glasses or whatever, it blocks out everything except for the sun. It's very dim, but like, Morning. that's the point. That's detected. the point, dummy, otherwise you'll ruin your eyes. Um, there we go, thank you, Limpet. Okay, we got like a Thargoid in there. I don't really care about the Thargoids, what I don't want is the stupid friggin' um, annoying sights that take your, um, take your cargo. Hold on, where's my caustic? There we go. Yeah, let's Morning. Caustic damage de detected. corruptify myself. Caustic substance. Okay, I'm gonna try to go because then so you're saying like you you were finding expired. this stuff like not in the middle of the dead titan, but kinda on the outskirts, so maybe let's go a bit this way. It's sort of hard to know if we're we're there or not. Um, you know, there's no caustic cloud at Tyrannus right now. It does spawn in while you're there, but very slowly. Interesting. Yeah, we were just at Tyrannus, but, like, there's a lot of people there, so the instances were kind of borked, and it seemed like there was a lot less loot. Like, it seemed like there's a lot more here at Legong. Plus, like, I've got caustic sinks up the wazoo. I got meta-alloy hull reinforcements. Like, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm pretty ballin'. I'm pretty ballin'. Um, I'm okay. It's like Legong, people are less likely to go here because of the caustic, so. It's all there for me to take. Trippy, see how much of a perfect sphere and how small it is relative to what our mind imagines from its flow. Glow. I mean, man, it's like, I never thought about staring in the sun and how cool that would be, but it's like, yeah, it's kind of neat. I'd do it again. Uh, but I, I am looking for the solar clips. There's also apparently a nova. Um, so there's like a recurring nova, or essentially, so. And this is, you know, relevant to later or whatever. There are these, like, binary uh, white dwarf, like, AB stars. And essentially, a top 1% commander. That is, this this Arca is in the top 1% of all passenger lines out there. Um, <laughs> oh, that's cool. You can see the rings kind of through the cloud. It's very pretty, actually. Um, but, like, freaking um, this... Oh. Yep, that's what I thought. Limpet died. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so there's, a um, basically, like, a, a number of stars where it's, like, a, the B star is, like, whatever, an orange giant or whatever, rotating around a white dwarf, and the white dwarf will then suck, uh, up the, um, uh, the, the B star, like, start cannibalizing it, and then create, like, an accretion disc, and every so often, boom, it kind of does a boom boom, uh, when it, when it hits a certain mass, right? And so, therefore, there's, like, this certain class of Novas that have somewhat of a predictable schedule, right? So they, they know, like, okay, this thing erupts every 76 years, we get a Nova. And what you see is that translates to a new bright star in the sky that was previously there, just too dim to see, or whatever the case may be. And so, yeah, there's going to be a Nova this um, within the next month or two, is what they predict. I mean, obviously, these things, there is a degree of error, but um, it'll just be like a very bright star in the sky that you've not seen before. Why did Ben Lippet die again? Why? Wait, what's that? Let's say something new. Damn it, propulsion elements. So I guess it does seem like things are spawning in, but obviously at a slow pace and with the caustics, I probably think it's more efficient to just like restart the instance. Warning. Whoa, Caustic hold on. Damage detected. What happened there? Caustic substance neutralized. Something just like pushed me away. It's like I hit a wall. Um, but yeah, and then and then there's something. Oh well, yeah, I was gonna say something with the moon, but I guess that would be the solar eclipse because moon's kind of involved in that. 
sort of his fault. Um, cost of crystals. I do need that. I do need that. Yeah, made that cost the crystals, please. Is that an instrument? Uh, is that an instrument of metallic meteors? Certain plans to power up dark matter for on the 8th as well. I'm convinced it's the scientists trolling the world to set up the crazies. Power up for dark matter. Like, power up for a dark matter experiment? Oh, there's Commander here. Watch out! But, I mean, dark matter is still... There's a lot we don't know about dark matter. Why do my collectors keep dying? Why? Why you do this? I don't have that many limpets, and I do not want to use my iron and nickel. Please. Please, collector limpet. Oh, wait, please tell me I'm, like... Okay, I thought maybe I was, like, sending out repair limpets by accident. Warning. Scythe Warning. tissue sample? I'll go for that. Yeah, I'll go for that. Might as well. Yeah, this is hella rare. Like, I guess you gotta probably, like, do, like, several, uh, different things. Several different, like, trips to eventually just find one. Because I've not seen a single drive sample. If you fly too fast, the limpets go off. Oh! Yeah, because then they'll, they'll get distracted seeing something they want to blow up and... There you go. There's a Thargoid vessel. What's he attacking there? Oh, that's Commander. That's Commander. Protomaniac. Looks like he's having a fun time fighting over there. Well, you take all the attention. I will use this as an opportunity to continue not being attacked. Right, what else we got here? Scythe tissue sample. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love the just the backdrop to this. Like, it's just such a freaking... Okay, so let me just, like, fly at a medium pace. Let's just do... I think I only have, like, one caustic left. No, two. Okay, that's good. Warning. Caustic damage detected. Just an amazing, like, setting here. Again, just one of the things that Frontier nails every single time is just the, the atmosphere. Oh, hold on. I saw my limpet go off. Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me it happened again. Oh, yeah. It happened again. Stupid freaking limpets. I hate you. I hate oh, 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 oh! Thing, 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 thing! Okay, go, 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 go! Get it, get it, get it, get it! I found the thing! I found the thing! Okay, I got one collector limpet left. I'm gonna use it to get this thing. Because that's what I've been looking for! The damn Titan Drive component! Oh, my God! I had given up hope. I honestly did not think I would find it. See a little low wreck eat a good poutine. I'm trying to debate whether I should. I, I bought a steak. Um, I'm gonna have, like steak and potatoes. I think I'm gonna have that for like Sunday. I think. Eat an early dinner. Um, maybe eat macaroni and cheese tonight. Hell yeah, my man! I got the drive component. And I'm alive. Okay, don't jinx it. What was that, by the way? What the hell just flew by me? We got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, it's time to get the hell out of Dodge. It's time to get the heck out of here. Let me just make sure it's there. There we go. Component of a large star grade propulsion drive found in the wreckage of a Titan. Okay, we'll definitely want to come back and get another one just for our own personal collection, but. This will get me into that sweet, sweet community goal if I can make it back without dying. So let's first get all the way the heck out of here. We got, what, two more caustic sinks? Should be just enough. I know, right? No, I'm not. That's the first one I found. Like, I, like it's been, they're super rare. They're super rare. All right, so I'll head back to the Dangabus first. I don't even know where the community goal actually is. Why don't you find like a second one and then it's like, hmm. Do I go back? Never double dip. Cannot comply. Okay, we're still mass locked, so we gotta go, 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 go. Pips to engines. Heck yeah. 
I was like thinking, I'm like, mm, this is like the fourth instance or whatever where I've not found one. It's probably not going to happen today, but you saw it. You saw it happen here, folks, ladies and gentlemen. And look at all this other awesome loot that we got. Like this Thargoid sensors. I've been running low on those. I do need to go. Um, I wanted to make some more. Uh, what do you call them? Relics. Cannot comply. I need to get some guardian uh, relics or whatever. I need to. It's like yeah. Oh great. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to going out to a guardian site. And... Actually, you know what? It's been a while since I've been there, and I do love the atmosphere at those places. And I don't have to do like the full grind. I just need a few relics. That's it. It's not like I'm trying to do the, you know, activate everything, yeah, make sure you have a key, get the technology components, all that stuff, right? Should have hit me up. I got five to six on the carrier. Well, yeah, I mean, look, I, and, and look, I appreciate it. Even Dead Star was, like, offering it. But, you know, it, and, and that's the thing. Like, like I always like to kind of go through the experience myself and, like, like, I, like, oh, yeah, I, I, I need to get to the thing of us before the caustic kills me. It's like, it's like going through the experience and finding it yourself, too, is just, like, part of the, the you know, it's like you got to walk the, the mile in, in a commander's shoes before... I don't know what I'm saying. As well. <laughs> but, no, I appreciate the offer. I mean, if you want to give me one that you're not using, I'll, 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 I can always use an extra one just to have on my hoard, but... But it's like, you know, going out and experiencing, like, the collection of it, how rare it is, like, that makes it a little exciting, right? I was talking earlier about how uh, I get you, I get it, you got at least one the real way. Exactly. At least, at least I did the thing, right? <clears throat> so I remember back in the day, and this is like, this is what I'm saying, is because, like, now I can complain about it. <laughs> right? If, I, if someone just gives it to me, I can't complain about it because I didn't actually feel the pain. Um, but now I can complain for the rest of my life about how sh stupid that was. Uh, no, but it's like I was talking about earlier about, like, probes. When the Thargoid probes were, um, super hard to find before. Like, now you can literally just go to Titan Wreckage and there's, like, 16 of them, right? It's like, just scoop them, scoop as many as you want. It's like an all-you-can-probe buffet. But back in the day, you'd have to go to these Ammonia Worlds and then just basically, like, sit there and super cruise for, like, four hours waiting for, like... Uh, signal level, threat level four, and then you would jump in hoping it was a probe and not like a bunch of scouts, and oh my god, it's actually a probe, and then don't bump into it and blow it up, because it takes three to four hours for you to find them. And that was just for one probe, right? I remember I needed it for a video, and it was like, okay, I have to, I have to find it. The most tedious thing I've ever done in this game. Like, I remember back when we were looking for, like, Guardian Sites and Thargoid ships, and you know, it's like, I think a lot, the first one was like found from just a guy going over the surface of a planet and seeing it with his eyes. Um, and I remember sometimes just like going along the surface of planets and being like, well, you never know what you're going to find. Let's just pick a random planet and fly along the surface for 45 minutes. But even that like had more to it because like, I don't know. It's, it, even though it, it didn't find anything, it's like at least you're still flying the ship. Like, just sitting in Super Cruise waiting for a signal source means that, number one, you can't idle because when the signal source pops up, you need to, like, go to it. <laughs> so I just remember it was, like, very mind-numbing. Thankfully, uh, again, uh, in these situations, you hit the emergency red button and pop some TNG episodes on. And good old Jean-Luc Picard will uh, help you get through those times. Landing gear deployed. Coming on in for a landing. Caustic substance. There we go. We're alive. So I'm probably not going to go in my orca for this. So I'll just transfer everything to carrier. This is good stuff. Oh, I didn't even have glaive tissue samples. So that's good. Yeah, the loot there, honestly, like this is good loot. Right? Like you get a lot of the Thargoid stuff, right? Which, again, normally this stuff is fairly difficult to find, or, or, you know, like, like, the Orthius samples, like, have you tried to put a research limpet on an Orthius? It can be very, um, very, uh, delicate. Look how many limpets I have, wow. What do I even have limpets? You can just get them from the menus. What's the point of storing them? Alright, um, remember you need caustic resistant rocks to transport it. Okay. That, I appreciate, because... I might have forgot that. Now, where is the community goal, by the way? Uh, 
Oh, it's an Alioff or F Grease or whatever. I'm assuming this is it. Block Station. Let me just look in Galnet. Make sure this is not like a community goal for like, we need trade computers. Um, Galnet. Uh, ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum. For so long, then that means space travel. Blah, 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 blah. We have been limited to observational data alone, but that's no longer the case. The remnant of terrain is not accessible. We're responsible for entering the ventures of the rare Titan drive components. Uh, block station in the F3 system. Okay, so definitely need to go there. So. And don't forget to sign up for the CG before handing in. Oh! Dead Star, you are full of good advice right now. That is, I would have probably forgotten both of those things. All right, so I probably need like a ship that number one is fast and nimble uh, to avoid gankers and such, because we're going to a CG system and open, so. After all that, imagine just dying. Hmm. I mean, I could go just full Viper and like my top speed is like, what? And that's, that's like, like I could strip it a little bit and it's actually it's like you can get these things up to 900 I could go further uh, let's see here I want fast I want armory I want inconspicuous hmm no no <laughs> no keel back what would be a good one because also the bigger ones have less mass locky problems why is my game going so slow right now hmm I could like disguise myself as a ganker I think maybe oh, the python is a little bit slow I think I'm gonna go phantom we're gonna phantom it out and also why is my game like lagging Oh my god, like this is the purple lasers fill my canopy song by Takoso is like such a banger. Even when you pull the words out, like just the, the back track which you're listening to now is such a solid tune. I don't even know what that I gotta ask him what that sound is. It's probably like a synth or something, but it's so cool. Okay, uh, we are experiencing the uh, circular dot of forever time. Ah! Okay, I forgot. About, I forgot about the trumpet. Yeah, we'll, 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 while we wait, we'll do. This. Okay, okay, no, that's gonna crash the computer. I could. I think I'm crashing. Like this is weird. If I. If uh, if I crash, tell tell the bubble. Uh, Raxla is in. Uh. <laughs> okay, I can even tell by my bobbleheads that something's going on here now. Uh, what's up with my frames? Five frames per second. Okay, okay. There's something wrong with my computer. I, no, I actually closed all my Chrome tabs. Hold on a second. I'm just going to... Give me a second. It could be my DAW. I'm just going to quietly close it in the background and hope that the universe does not implode. As it tends to do. Uh... Yeah, because it's not just a leap that's running choppy. It's like, I don't even know, like, if this stream is, like, coming through choppy, but, like, I it is, like, um, everything is, like, very delicate right now. Okay. Uh, I'm seeing lots of scary pop-ups. I haven't blue screened yet, so like, you know. It's me, I'm cursed today. <laughs> I haven't brought it to your stream, right? 
This is why you upgraded your CPU. Well, I mean, like, I CPU isn't that bad. I shouldn't need to upgrade it. It's just, I don't know what I've done here. Is it like, it could be like Odyssey. I'm actually gonna log to menu maybe, because I am at my carrier. Maybe that'll just ease up some RAM. Okay. Okay. Let's be very careful. Don't click multiple times. I bet you it's because I took those 17,000 screenshots <laughs> earlier. And it's just been like queuing up in the background. The whole time it's just been taking screenshots of everything. I've captured every frame of existence. Yeah, there's nothing with GeForce experience that's doing weird. Okay, oh, okay, hold on. I think we're okay. So it was definitely that instance. Somehow that instance got weird. You get the same strange... You get the strange same behavior when a Bluetooth device goes out of range. I actually saw my friend. It's like um, when I have, a, I have like a Bluetooth headset for my phone or whatever. And when I go... Um, to uh, 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 walk to the store, for example. Let's see, how many jumps is it, first of all? Okay, I'm already targeting that route. Five jumps, okay, that's good. So what did Dead Star say? Um, the thing in the hold. Oh, let me send you another team invite, because... Whoa, 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 don't, don't, don't redeem that. Don't redeem that, not yet. Um, but yeah, so basically, like, like it's like my pocket is exactly on the cutoff line where, like, the Bluetooth, I guess, goes in. The, like, if it's close enough and go in low battery power, if it goes over a certain threshold, then it becomes uh, uh, needs more battery power, changes the range, and it's like my pocket just happens to be like, oh, look, look at that! I already have anti-corrosion cargo racks. I, I swear, I planned this. Uh, I don't feel like this is a super safe ship. Maybe just for the time being, I'm just gonna, just gonna maybe up our, I'm better ally. I'm just gonna give myself a little more beefiness. Okay, maybe meta alloy is better. Or do mod, yeah, module reinforcements because someone could cheat on my engines. Um, but yeah, so like it's one of those things where I'm walking down. And it's like every step that I make, it kind of like I get a little cut off, right? And so I have to kind of like inch my phone up just a little bit in my pocket. And if it's not at the bottom of my pocket, it's just enough. It's just enough. Okay, and don't, don't forget to take the thing, right? Don't forget the thing, the thing that we need to bring. Um, it's somewhere in here, I swear. I'm looking for Titan. 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 Oh, here it is, okay. Drive component. Okay, so go to place, sign up for CG, and then hand it in. Or sell it to the commodity market or whatever. So let's just make sure that I am, I always like to make sure that I am targeting the actual station. Yeah, I am. That way it just saves me those few precious seconds when you land in the system and start looking for hollow dots, that you don't have to, you know, figure out where to go. It's already done for you. All right, this is the risky part, right? This is like, you know, you've been out exploring for a couple months and you're coming back to the bubble and you're doing the cash in, in open. And th this is like, like the tension begins, right? At any point between here and, and wherever the hell I'm going, I could be intercepted, I could be killed, and all of my work erased. And if those Titan Drive components were like a little easier to find, it wouldn't be such a, such a big deal, but damn, that actually took quite a lot of effort. But I guess, yeah, it seems like it's, like, Legong definitely had, like, even though there's the caustic stuff, it, there's a lot more loot spawning. So I think that was actually, like, like, if I want to get another one, I'm probably going back to Legong. At least, you know, for the time being. I'm sure after, what, it's like every um, couple couple weeks after it, the uh, state will change. So the caustic will go away and the pirates will enter. That's another thing is that yeah, Titan um, uh, Tyrannus has pirates. Like there's actually like NPC pirates there. So 
You know, if it's not Scythe trying to take your booty, it's NPCs, right? It's always Warning. always someone trying to get their claws inside your little hole there. Yeah, my, my Phantom's kind of stealthy, so I don't... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What? you telling me one cargo screwed up by jump range, really? I mean, that, if, if so, that was a very optimized route. I'm kind of impressed. Okay. Yeah, still four jumps. That's cool. Okay, system clear at the moment. Good, 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 good. Well, I mean, of, of commanders, but... NPCs can still ruin your day. Like, you know, if you're flying, uh, you know, doing, like, mass hauling for a CG in, like, a Type 9 that's unshielded, Four, like, three, I, I've been killed by an NPC one, and a clipper. Engage. It is never truly safe in space. Space is dangerous. A couple of non-hostile NPCs. That is until you say the wrong thing to them. And then they turn on you. Fuel Treasure hunt comes. What? What's that? Treasure hunt comes to an end. The Algol system. Okay, let me just write down Algol system. Fuel scoop come back to this later. Algol system. Treasure hunt. I'm betting that's probably from like one. Like like Frontier usually does like annual. Um, One's called T Bob. T Bob Wowbanger. Why? Why? Why is that a name? T Bob Wowbanger. Wow. Wow. T Bob Wowbanger. Interesting. Um, but yeah, like, like, uh, oh, where, what was I just saying? I lost my train of thought there. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, so this Frontier usually does like, these treasure hunts around, like, Christmas, around. Yeah, I remember they did one Easter one, uh, Halloween as well. So usually they'll do something where it's like, yeah, you go to this system, solve some clues, go to another system at the end, you get some free skins. Sometimes a ship that's like a zero dollar cost, which actually like gives you really good um, rebuy rates. Those are always nice. Maybe some cosmetics, a nice little, you know, tacky Christmas sweater. They do cool stuff like that. I always love when they do the treasure hunts. So I'm betting, I'm betting that I've probably seen that beacon before. It was probably the the end of a one of such events, or maybe it's uh, some new lore. I'll look it up first and just see what it was related to. But I do love that you you know it's just, you're going randomly through space trying to do something else, and then you kind of hey, what's what's, what's that about? If I, w if I wasn't, like, carrying a very precious commodity uh, that I'm very worried about selling, I might have gone to check that out right there, but I'll, I'll save that for another time. Warning. Temperature critical. Yeah, next week I don't know, like, either A, I might do another mystery, but I've been thinking of, like, like again, it's like, I need, I've not done a lot of Odyssey suit and weapon upgrades in a long time. Um, I actually did... Notice, I, I did my last upgrade a little bit ago and, and kind of just, uh, I think my plasma pistol or whatever, I put it up to grade four from three or something. But it's like, I was like, hmm, a lot of the plans that I had to optimize my suit builds, I have not made any progress on. I need to obviously grind for that, but I was like, what is stuff that I can do that's fun and entertaining, but also I can loot along the way and, you know, maybe some assassination missions or whatever. And then you just kill everyone in the base and take the stuff. But um, I do need to do a little bit of that. Because you never know. I mean, I still hold out hope that one day we will get Thargoid ground-based combat. So it would be nice to have uh, all the tools of the trade. I'm going to like hide the fleet carriers for a minute because there's so many here. Anything else interesting? Principal Finance Ministry. I've been to Athgreys before. I recognize the system name, but... Like, we're super close to Alia. Batman stuff is always funny. Oh, yeah, we should do that Batman stream. It's been a while. The rules are... It's like, no... What is it? No killing? No killing, no guns, no parents. <laughs> 
Definitely didn't die to an ass from my Corvette in a CZ the other day. It happens, man. It's like... I, honestly, ASPs are super underrated as combat ships because they have like like six hard points and like four of them are medium. And if you, like, I remember back in my ASP days, like you just loaded that shit up with, with multi-cannons. But I, I even did one once where I put all six of them as railguns. And it's like, I would like two shot um, any small ship. It's absolutely insane. And they're very maneuverable. So I think the Asp is kind of like an underrated combat ship. It's a bit of a glass cannon if you go that way, but like to be honest, like no one expects the Asp. No one ever suspects the Asp. Uh, one good thing to come out of me and Mars killing each other in our suits and weapons is uh, and suits and weapons are kind of not to be messed with now. If you ever want a showdown, oh that's true. You guys have killed each other so much that you've actually hardened yourself into hardy battle warriors. I mean, 1v1 me. 1v1 me in my Dominator suit, and I'll punch you to death, because I've got increased melee damage. And believe me, it's as hilarious as it sounds. <laughs> Being able to just walk up to NPCs and punch them once or twice, and they're dead. It's, it's a special type of... Sierra Papa Alpha. We made it. We're alive. I just don't smack in the middle slot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, pips the engines. A little more, little more juice. Okay, that's fine. Little bounce. Okay, top bounce. That's fine. That was just a corrective bounce. Totally meant for that to happen. One v one, you bro. But honestly, the Dominator suit with the punching, it's like, you know, if a guy's got a rocket launcher, you know, what's the safest place? Right next to it. It's a great strategy. Oh, that was a nice little buzz there to start. That scared me a little bit. Okay, sign up to community goal. Sign up to community goal. Do that first. Let's see here. Okay. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. There we go. We're in. So it looks like, okay, 4,900 people contributing? Damn. That's actually a lot. Like, 13,000 units collected between 4,900 people. It's pretty interesting. Okay. So you're supposed to sell these to the commodity market. This ain't going to be a money-making scheme. Alright, let's see what happens. First of all, what are you going to say here? Wow, I sold one unit of something here, and they're like, we like this guy. We like this guy's style. Uh, okay. And what does that do for me? Top 75%. Okay. So, I've got one unit in there. You can't submit less than one unit. So, therefore, the people in the top 100% must have signed up to the community goal, but not contributed anything? But then there's also insufficient contribution. So how how can I be in the top 75% if I must have contributed as much as the bare minimum? I'm confused. But oh well. So rewards depend on your contribution, blah, blah, blah. Who cares about this shit? Because honestly, Frontier, 10x these numbers. 10x them, right? Top 10 commanders, 2 million? 2 million credits. Like you make more, you you uh, like you would make two million selling five of those, and that would probably put you in the top twenty five percent. So it makes these numbers make no sense, and they never do. Like community goals should be whatever they think the number is times it by ten. That's what the number should be. Um. So let's see here. Any pilot contributing one, that's me, or more Titan Drive components will be granted the following at the conclusion of the initiative. Alliance Challenger circuitry gold pinch. So basically, the chieftain, you get a, a, a um, the, chi the the Alliance C pack, C paint pack. That's cool. So it's just it's just from paints. I mean, sometimes you get like messages after community goal. It's certainly it's all you know. It's just nice to be here. Okay, I'm just happy to participate. I'm gonna head to the the bar. All right, we've done our we've done our duty for humanity here. 
Not this hard, right? The pay for those is terrible. Two gets you to the top 50%, six for the top 10%. Wow, so the, these are super rare. But what I'm saying is like, it, it, this is just, it drives me nuts. Like, a lot of the community goals that, that have been gold rushes, where they're like, we need gold or whatever, you make more money just from hauling the stuff than the actual reward for the community goal. It's like the, the community goal payouts are so low, it's literally chump change. It doesn't make any sense. These should be these huge, lucrative events that everyone wants to participate in because the payouts are great, and that really would motivate people to want to be in that next bracket, right? Like, usually when they have, like, pre-engineered rewards and stuff like that, like, yeah, yeah, people... Whoa, 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 okay, we're getting the frame rates again. What is going on with this? I see, like, Dead Star zapping around. What's going on today? Why is my shit going crazy? I don't know if I'm like jumping all over. If it looks weird to you, I can see you at the computer dead star, but this is this is choppy choppy choppy. Can I make it to the bar before it crashes? I'm at two frames a second, baby. This is welcome to, welcome to my presentation. Uh, if we could just change the next slide here, we'll be turning slightly left. Oh my lord, what's going on? It's probably my com there's something wrong with my computer. Probably need to restart. I haven't restarted in years. That's not, something that's not I can true. get you, Commander. Well, you can get me some frames per second. That would be ideal. And it's weird too, because like when I went to the menu before, it just immediately fixed it. So there's definitely like something in Odyssey is afoot. All right, I'm not gonna try to sit down because I feel I feel like that's gonna take ten minutes at this point. The only ever do the CG for the non-cash rewards is something like, hey, they give us the, the big... But, that's, that, but that's exactly it, right? It's like, it's like, you could... <laughs> see Dead Star try to point me, in the, uh, point me to the chair. I can't even go into camera, but my frame rates are so dead. Okay, so you're just gonna have to look at Dead Star. <clears throat> you know what my beautiful face looks like anyway. You don't need to worry about it. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna uh, end it here because I gotta get some food and then get ready for this concert. But thank you guys for, for sticking around and enjoying it I'll, I'll of course be here next saturday to do another stream um you know what we're gonna do next week i can't i want to do something like on foot All right hopefully the frame rates don't look like take this a load though off, commander take a load off your frame rates apparently like i'm trying to look at you dead star it's like slowly moving my head <laughs> and just see you just like warping around oh my god what's going on anyway oh oh now it goes to camera mode! Now it goes to camera I literally haven't clicked the camera mode thing for like... That was like a minute ago. This is so bizarre. Anyway, I don't know what's wrong with my shit, but... It'll be... It'll be fine by next week. Thank you guys for joining. Oh, seven. Enjoy the rest of your days. And, as always, fly dangus. Okay, bye. Happy Easter, that's right. Happy, happy Easter. After, happy Easter weekend. Bye! Oh god, even YouTube's loading slow. My old computer's... Ah! Make it stop!